Hello, little ones. Would you like to hear a story? I've got one for you. From Rolling with Remix. Long ago, the land of Erion was a land of plenty, and many wanted to lay claim to its riches. When those who lived in Erion could no longer agree on who held what, civil war broke out across the entire realm, until the kobolds, in desperation to keep their kingdom afloat, summoned the dark and terrible Dragotha. The great dragon cared not for the alliances constantly made and broken across Erion, and razed many of its great cities to the ground, until a last desperate alliance finally slew the titanic worm. With no one in any shape to continue the fight, an armistice was reached, and the Great War ended. But tensions were still on the rise. Thirty years later, a ragtag group of adventurers who met at a harvest festival and joined forces to look for the missing mentor of one of their band were hired by a mysterious old man to travel to the great city-states of Erion and perform acts of heroism that those in power would not approve of. But those same acts served to heighten tensions across the land, and the old man, secretly a scheming mind flayer, revealed that once more, Erion had fallen into a great civil war. Now, with militaries and dark powers on the rise, our heroes gather their forces in hopes of saving what they can before Erion once more falls into ruin. Momo, the Aarakocra cleric. You're my friend. You're my family. And I'll protect you at all costs. Corellia, the kobold paladin. I will not make the same mistakes again. Malathane, the half-elf rogue. I won't stand idle. Not while people's lives are at stake. <laughs> oh, this should be fun. Quintessa. The human fighter. You shouldn't be surprised. Everyone is out for themselves in the end. And Scam Lycan, the goblin artificer. There are three candidates, death, taxes, and my ability to dodge both. Unprepared though they might be, our heroes find themselves at the front lines of a great battle to save the fallen empires. Last time on Rolling with Remix. Fallen Empires. Our heroes conversed with Nam Talaku of the Anunnaki, who revealed that he and the rest of his people came from far beyond the stars of Irion, and awakened, he clarified he did not sow the seeds of civilization, merely advanced its evolutionary cycle. What many would call vermin, insects that infested the land of Irion. The Arakakra and the Elemental Lords did not agree with the Anunnaki's plans, and so drove them away. But not before Namtalaku awakened a dragon that came to be known as Dragatha. When asked about the docile cultists, the Anunnaki revealed his hobby, a staircase painted with memories of all those who came into his lair, including scams. When asked what the designs for the world were, he said that the world had already rejected them, and thus were not worthy of using Anunnaki technology. Scam challenged that notion, and so the Anunnaki challenged the heroes to combat. In a mental projection of a world, yes, but combat nonetheless. Unfortunately, the Anunnaki's powerful mental abilities were too advanced for the heroes, and he handily defeated them all, but congratulated them on managing to bloody him in that realm, and allowed them to part with some of the technology. Deciding to explore the rest of Dragatha's lair, our heroes went down the side passage they had passed over before, only to find that the side passage led to the majority of the lair, which had been cleared out by Okiti, if the trail of their bodies and bodies of cultists were anything to go by. Finally, at the end of a long series of tunnels and chambers, they found the Okiti gathered in a treasure room, packing up whatever they could, while their commander, Krenny Nakata, got his hands on a ring of flame, a powerful and deadly artifact that unleashed a wave of lava flooding the chamber. The Okiti fled from the rushing wave of magma, and Krenny Nakata got away in the chaos, and our heroes nearly sunk below the burning waves, or would have if Scam didn't hop right in with some of the treasure, cast absorb elements, and remember Momo could fly and just pick up what they missed, leaving them with piles and piles of what remained of Dragatha's treasure. How will they use what they've obtained of the Horde? 
What will Krenny Nakata do with the dangerous artifact now in his possession? And are we going back to real estate? Find out on tonight's episode of Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empire. It is 3.19 p.m. Central Standard Time. Do you know where your children are? I'm your Dungeon Master, Alex, and with me, joining me for Fallen Empires, we have my usual casting crew of Atlas. Children? Oh god, do you know where they are? Because I don't have any. We have Jojo. Dad, I'm home! Don't worry, I got the milk! Excellent. We have Queen. I sent my child off to war. Unfortunate. And we do have Xander, but he's not in roll 20. (laughs) Milk, I'm home. I brought the dad. (laughs) And I'm getting into the roll 20 right now. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Sorry for not pointing that out earlier. (laughs) Yes. All right. Scott will be... I was forgetting something. (laughs) Uh, Scott will be joining us later. Uh, He is currently busy with stuff. Anyway... When the last we left our heroes, uh, there was a big old chamber in Jagatha's lair that flooded with lava, but they managed to get some treasure out of it. Now, I will say that uh, in the hours before you went in, the Okidi did manage to take some of the treasure of Jagatha's lair, and there's some that was just ruined by lava, but still, you've got a lot. And, yeah. Uh, oh, good. All right. I pulled it out with my bare hands. And, <laughs> bare hands. and Momo flying around and getting stuff. So, uh, once you hear what you got, you're going to probably question how you got that all with your bare hands. Don't worry about it. It's it's fine. Yes. He has a bag. He has a bag of me, holding. Let, yeah, I have a bag of holding. I just like I'm just fucking scooping shit up like that, you yeah. know. So I'm going to go ahead and open my bag of holding notes, and why don't you tell me all of the things I just procured, Alex? All right, so, 11,000 gold pieces. Nice. Yeah, I did. 2,100 <laughs> platinum pieces. Nice. Yeah. Uh, a magical scroll of some kind. Okay. A large sheet of bronze engraved with a fantastically detailed map of Irion. Okay. Alright. Uh, hold on. Let me double check okay. what I put stuff... No, no, there's, there's more, there's more. It's just I think I might have put something down uh, incorrectly. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. What'd you put down? Did you write down the deck of many things? I did not write down the deck of many things. You see, there's a table I rolled from, and I type out a number that ah. would be rather important. Ah. Uh, yes. There is a laurel wreath covered in gold leaf, bearing the inscription, oh. Great Victory Requires Great Risk. It's in common. La- so, so it's a laurel wreath covered in gold leaf. Yes. Uh, and that was hard to say. And what was it? What did it say? Sorry. Uh, it has the inscription in common. Great victory requires great risk. Okay. Uh, a large sheet of electrum, which is covered in writing in a tongue that uh, none of you recognize. Okay. All right. As I scroll through... The other things that were in there. Uh, There is a potion of... Let me double check what potion this is. Because they have specific descriptions for what the potions look like. Absolutely. And I believe, according to the rules, I'm not sure what your interpretation is, you are able to identify potions by, like, tasting a little bit of them. That is correct. Without without suffering their effects. That is correct. Uh, Okay, cool. There is a potion full of a syrupy liquid that looks like liquefied iron. I will I will give that this game will just like, you know, get a little little wine taste to figure out what that is. Uh, you feel you feel particularly a uh, strong hail and hearty after after drinking it. This is a potion of invulnerability. Nice. 
Yeah. Uh, cool. g- gives you resistance to all damage for one minute. Fuck yeah. Uh, there is what looks to be a small vial filled with glowing red blood. Fun. Okay. Cool. I'm with you. Okay. There is a dark red crystal flickering like fire that you can hear some distant infernal whispers from within. (laughs) Okay. There is a little uh, bone and wood trinket carved in the shape of a great fire. Okay. I'm sensing a theme here. (laughs) It's, Mm -hmm. hmm, I wonder why. And, uh, And then, lastly, there is a large emerald green crystal, like, about eight inches in, uh, in size, lengthwise. Shit. All right. (laughs) Um, and question to the DM, um, do I recognize any of these items from the one that I touched once upon a time? Uh, <laughs> I will say that even though it is not the same thing as what you touched once upon a time, it is related. Sure. So the vial of blood, that is indeed uh, dragon's blood. Sick. Whoa, what? Uh, for identifying, Radical. For identifying what it does, uh, it contains six ounces of enchanted blood recovered from the body of a dragon. If one ounce of blood is poured onto any natural weapon, then attacks made with that natural weapon, like claws, horns, beak, biting, attacks with those weapons are treated as magical, and they g- deal fire damage. No. Nice. Uh, hell yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, no one can tell Scam that he was not valid in getting this treasure. <laughs> <laughs> We have a, a veritable trove. Excellent. Yeah, okay, I got all that. Is that, is that everything? Uh, that is everything. It's going to be a lot to identify on the way back. Yes, it is. Uh, it will be. Uh, I need, I'm going, and I also will need to prepare identify, but I have the means of casting it, so good. <clears throat> cool. Well, then, I, 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 yeah, no, I'm content with that. Excellent. Yes. Uh... And that is all in the bag of holding and safely out of sight. You also have the boxes of holding attached to the big old spider mech. We do, which I'm going to be get once we begin like allocating things, I will begin cool, using cool, those. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, all right. R- resume. <laughs> all right. So that is the side passages cleared out, whether it is by you, by Lava, or by previous excursions for Okidi. We did it. So, would we want to go back in deeper? There were a number of places we did not explore. Uh, Wait, where did we not explore? I thought we well, looked at there everything. Well, there was a northern passage down in the... Uh, Sort of the, the the weird the weird area with the strange stairs and the Migo and the yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess I remember what you're talking about. The thing is, though, uh, the Migo aren't exactly interested in us poking around their shit, so it's not exactly going to be a profit. Uh, there weren't adventure. any. There weren't any Migo in the Northern Passage, so. See, I didn't think there were any Migo to begin with, but then a cloud of spores turned into one. So, really, can you discount the possibility of them I watching mean, everything? Perhaps not, but I didn't see a cloud of spores, and down uh, the northern passage well. there was, you know, the Anunnaki and no spores, so. Hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fair, this is fair. Do you think it would be worth it to go back and explore? Just to make sure we get everything around or something? Well, I, mm. I mean, that's... I mean, I leave that up to y'all, considering the fact that I, uh... If my math is correct here... We are very, 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 very rich. <laughs> um, which, uh, if I carry the one, add the two. Yeah, uh, from this place alone, we've made roughly about, you know, close to 40,000 gold. 
40,000. Well, like 36,411 to be precise, but some of that is my own personal funds. But like the platinum, yeah. And mm. the, not to mention all the gold from, you know, in there. Well, Scam is literally standing in there, fully suited from the waist up, but like in burned scorch <laughs> boxers and no pants, no shoes from wading through lava. <laughs> this, um, that is most Mom unfortunate. Take off his, <laughs> Mom was going to take off his hooded cape and kind of just give it to Scam. No, 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 no. I like the breeze. I like the breeze. Please. No, 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 no. I need it. I walked through lava. At least let me cool off the, the burned bits. They're just legs, Momo. And yes, Scam is totally the kind of person who's wearing heart boxers. <laughs> of course. Of course he is. Of fucking course he is. Well, we could either explore more and leave with no regrets, or leave and save our skin from literally being roasted. Whatever you guys prefer. Well, I mean, is the lava still rising through the side passages? Is there any danger of it encroaching into where we are now? Well, no, but we're still in Dracothus' lair. Uh, the answer is no, the lava only goes through that uh, one particular huge valley room. It is not going to get you where you are now. Okay, thank you. Nice. Well, there's that, but there's also making sure nothing is left for any others deeper down. True. Well, we could look. Yeah, we could. All right. Uh, so you're yeah. go you're going to the northern passage from the uh, from the fractured temple. Yes. I mean, yeah. I, f I feel like that. From all of this, we can just yeah look around if there's any enemies. We fuck them up, but take a you know cursory glance around, see if there's anything of import that we missed. Okay. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be full exploration. If there's not really anything there, we can just probably walk right through it. <laughs> probably, yeah. Just uh, give me a second to yeah, totally get the proper music up. Then the proper music. Yeah. I don't like that one bit. All right, and there we go. That should yeah. be it. Shit. All right. You head back into the eerily cold depths of the Fractured Temple, passing once more by the Migo and the Shadarkai working there, and heading towards the Northern Passage. Uh, this leads into a, uh, a chamber filled with all sorts of barrels. They don't appear to be of Anunnaki or Migo make, just regular old barrels that someone dragged down here, placed around... And then did not pick up. Well, you know, fool me once, I'll walk over and I'll just open one of the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> you open the barrel, and it is full of rope. All right, I open the barrel down here. <laughs> Looks to be full of uh, some rations. I open all the barrels. It's mundane goods in there. Uh, whatever the cultists are doing, they're not keeping any, like, super valuable stuff other than supplies for venturing down into caves in these barrels. Is there anything beyond this door? Uh, yeah, that door leads to the other entrance to the uh, connector area that led you down into the Anunnaki mm, gotcha. space. I see. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right, is this a door where, where, where I'm standing? Uh, that is a door. It appears to be made of solid metal and is currently closed. I will... But I would like to attempt to open it. It is locked. I have thieves tools. You do indeed. This will not go <laughs> poorly. You can do As I, I have a plus 10. All right. 23. No. And, flash of genius that if I have one left, we'll double check just to make that uh, higher. Do I have any uses of that left? Yes, I do. Alright, so that is a 27 to open the door. Cool. Alright. You're now slightly more familiar with the strange mechanisms that lock things, so you know what not to press to get electrocuted. You uh, pick around for, like, a solid minute or so, and then you hear a and the door whooshes open. Yeah! 
Take that, space shit. Here. Oh, what's going on here? There are several uh, metal and glass cabinets in this room, filled with more uh, more trinkets, a lot of uh, mundane goods, some devices you don't quite recognize look to be of Anunnaki make, none of which have the symbol that the Anunnaki put on stuff that's indicated it was okay for you to take out. Uh, there is one cabinet, uh, the that one, the rightmost cabinet, that has a mm. single book on it with, uh, it's got runes in Infernal written on the spine. In Metal. Inferno. Can I take it? You can take it. Whip. All right. You now have the book. I flip it open. Are there any pictures? <laughs> there is one, <laughs> uh, a huge magic glyph that glows red, and then <sighs> you hear this crackling wall of flame surround you. Uh, <laughs> that is a 20-foot diameter wall of fire, so... Yeah, oh, this is just... You. This is just <laughs> scam. <laughs> Who's affected? Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh. Uh, I will flash a genius hat as well to make that a 21. Okay, you only take half damage as the flames appear around you. Oh, shit. Alright, that's as uh, I, eight. As I draw an amazing wall of fire. Indeed. <laughs> oh! Scam! Whoops! I closed the book. <laughs> you close the book. Uh, the go away. Uh, looking at my notes, I believe the answer is yes. The wall of fire goes away. <laughs> and you wonder why I became a librarian. I'll, I'll hold the book out to Quintessa and be like, you know what? I think this book's a little too spicy for me. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. The, the one time I have a character who can't speak in <laughs> I can uh, probably, like, as, I, I, I think I have comprehend languages, but not prepared. As the book check. moves toward the exit door, you hear a shimmer, and vroom, as this vaguely humanoid specter appears behind you, Quintessa, staring directly at the back of your head. Oh, you are gross. I turn around. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that easy. Hello. The specter is silent. Okay, I am going to assume you are not happy with me having your book. The specter is silent. Uh, if you want to nod or shake your head, that's fine. Just who the fuck is this? Don't ask me. <laughs> are you having trouble in there? Asks Malafane, looking over finally. <laughs> People who we meet are really weird. It's, it's either they talk in riddles or they don't talk at all. Hey, buddy. Simpatico? The Spectre is silent. I think we can just walk past him. I, um... I tried to step around him. He moves in the way. Oh. Alright, I hold the book out to him. Just, is that what he wants? The Spectre is silent. Oh my goodness! <laughs> just hey, drop the book, Quintessa! There are two yeah. options that I can think of. Either you put it back, or you throw it in a teleportation pool and it hope, hope it teleports to somewhere that you can get, oh. get it later. Quintessa, I think you need to throw it into the teleportation pool. You know, that for science. That being said, if you do that, then it probably won't stop following us. Oh. It might uh, attack us. Well, we're not gonna know where it's gonna appear. Wait, so. try throwing the book past it. Well, you only live once. Yeet. All right. <laughs> you th throw, try throwing the book past the, s the specter. It just catches it in one hand. Oh. <laughs> okay. It oh, wants nice. the book. My, okay, you know what? Honestly, we have a, a ton of stuff. I'm okay letting this one thing go. <laughs> the specter floats past you, puts the book back on the shelf, and disappears. You know what? <laughs> okay, that's all I need to do. Let's go, please. Let's not. Wait, what happens if you put it. the book in a bag of holding? 
try it. No, it probably we're not follows dealing with you it anymore. and kills you. No, I'm interested now. Let me try this. I put I'm I take the saying... book off the shelf again and put it in the bag of holding. No. Alright. You put the book in the bag of holding. The specter appears uh, right next to you. I take it out, I put it on the shelf, and I flip off the specter and I go, fuck you, dude, and I walk out of the room. The specter disappears. <laughs> Infernal librarian, how interesting. <laughs> well, that's another character. Man, I thought we had a devil of a librarian. Hey, up top. Up top. <laughs> yeah, that's what a fucked up relationship. And yeah, I walk out of the room. <laughs> All right. I just wipe my I just wipe my hand on my coat. <laughs> you uh, head out. <laughs> Anywhere else you want to explore in Dragatha's lair, or are you just heading back up towards the surface? Pardon me. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's re let's reconvene with Sora and return to the surface. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Uh, you head back up to the entryway. The zombie that Sora's animated moans to let her know you're coming as she wakes up from her nap. Uh, Jenna is still not up, and she looks you over. Looks twice at saying that Scam is completely in his boxers. You know... How you doing? This is certainly the most interesting group I've ever escorted through the Badlands. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Think of it like this. Now you're filthy rich. Now I am filthy rich. I'm assuming you got some of that filthy lucre. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we are replete with loot. And, uh... You didn't, uh... Hmm? Oh, uh, you didn't happen to see, uh, or hear, or get alerted to a bunch of Okiti running by, did you? Ah. Uh, actually, yeah, I heard, I heard a little bit of moaning, uh, peeked out, bunch of, bunch of rat men running by, uh... Figured I was in no shape to take on a whole squatch and a rat men, so drag Sleeping Beauty here off and uh, just let him pass. About yeah, how that's fair. Uh, I'd say like about half an hour. Yeah, one of them had a weapon of mass destruction on them. No big deal, but uh, I didn't see anything. Like that. Yeah, you I mean, if there was a floating one, then that would have been. Yeah, I, I think I'd remember a floating one. Uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so, do you take cash or credit? Uh, I'm assuming at this point you're just uh, starting to <laughs> put stuff into the various boxes of holding. Sorry. Yes, I'm beginning to roughly. Okay, so here's where the math comes down, okay? Ignoring the stuff we, because we, I think we silently agreed, the stuff we found from the Anunnaki side of the secret stuff is not the s shares we're going to be giving to Paulette. That is that is our own thing, but does not technically count as Dragatha's lair. Right. So that leaves whatever these items are, which I'll, I'll you know, once I, we get a long rest, I will, I will take identify and begin ritually identifying these things over the course of our travels. But from a money standpoint alone, uh, we have, hold on. Let me, let me get my calculator up just so I can do, get this math correctly. Just so I can have just so I can have some knowledge of beginning to sort this to how we're going to be giving it to uh, people. Because okay. there are eight oh. shares currently. <laughs> yes. 21, sorry, 2100 platinum is 21,000 gold, yes? That is correct. Okay. So that means uh, we have... Oh. Up. 11 all right so that means we have thirty-two thousand uh uh gold from in just coinage from from dragatha's horde uh not factoring in the wealth of magical items which again we'll get to after i identify them so there's three shares currently uh wait no there's way more than that what yeah, the fuck I'm, there's, hold on, there's, eight. there's five shares one for each of you there's one for sora mm -hmm. there's one for jenna and then there's Paulette's. Unless, of course, we're still going with Paulette also gets scam share. I Let's first divide it just by number of people and it, uh, that we have total. So that's eight people total? That is eight people total, yes. 
All right, so that means technically everyone should be getting a cut of 4,000 gold each, meaning in this world of bullshit and fuckery, Paulette would be getting 8,000 gold. Um, mm -hmm. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, so no, will... Paulette doesn't get an individual share. She just gets your share. No, I thought Ooh. that she gets a share and then a share plus and my share. share. That's, yeah, because oh, okay. she got a share. And then, then, yeah, so that's what we're currently dealing with. Um... So I will begin sorting the money out so that it roughly is equal to 4000 for everybody, just so that's pre-established. Okay. So that's, that's what I do, presumably for the rest of the day. Gold takes a while to count. Yes, it does. Uh, speaking of long rests as you're taking one, uh, those of you who lost wisdom in the Anunnaki fight, get it back. Thank you. I'll go ahead and... Uh, yeah, it's at the end of a long rest, so I'll go ahead and put Malifane's back. I believe he was at 16 wisdom? I don't remember. If he's at 10 now, then yeah, probably 16. Yeah, he was at 10. Alright, um, what do I get back? <laughs> Chat saying that's code for don't make me divide 32,000 by 7. <laughs> <laughs> so do we have the money now, or are we doing that later? Uh, Y'all can do what you want. You still got to get stuff appraised too. So yeah, I I I need to. I'm I, before anyone gets anything, I'm going to be identifying these items that we got. So I'm I've sorted the cash, but I'm not giving it to anyone yet. I want to make right. sure that we have a full knowledge of what we got going on. This is why I hate treasure hunting stuff in TNT. I love it. I don't know what you're talking about. Math. Math. Right. So, I mean, are we good to get the fuck out of here, or...? Yeah, it works for me. Alright. I will be also preparing create food and water again to... to supply us on our return voyage. Alright, so... Uh, as morning comes, Jenna wakes up, your long rest is completed, and... The Badlands await. Hell yeah. I will, for the duration of this travel, be ritually casting Identify using the Pearl. I also, because we had a long rest, I think I'm going to have Jibidi back now. I'll double check that I can bring him back. I believe uh, we can. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to swap. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me, because I can have, I think, I think it's, I can have four infusions now. Let me double check. Yeah, I can have four infusions. So I, over my long rest, I will have, um, gotten Jibbity back. Um, awesome. So he's 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 returned and I will be through Jibbity identifying casting identify on all the things we looted. Okay. I'm assuming you don't want to go around exploring the badlands and just want to get the fuck out, so Nope. That's not what we're here for. Well did you have stuff planned? Alright. <laughs> Morning passes without incident. Uh, fuck a doodle, fuck you. The afternoon. Uh, you pass by uh, what looked to be a series of uh, looted grave sites in the middle of the Badlands. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Hey, it's a Badlands. What are you expecting? Good things to be constant? But it's bad. Everything here is bad. Suck it up. Oh shit. Oh damn. It's I wasn't done. gonna give you that I wasn't gonna give you that firm of a hand, Momo, but you know, just a light pat on the shoulder. Yep. Okay. Uh do you want to investigate or do you wanna go fuck that? <laughs> yeah, I I, I think I'm personally it, I in a fuck that mood, yeah. Yeah. You fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to fuck that. That's... Ew. Yeah. And as evening hits, you make it to Mothorn. Hell yeah. Yay. Yay. Is it reasonable to say that I've identified everything by now? It, I'd say it's pretty reasonable. Cracks knuckles. <laughs> it's like... Oh boy. I get my notes up. Hold on. Yeah, because there's like... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I had to find one of them, so I don't know, two of them, technically. <laughs> five, 
six, seven. Technically, uh, seven things that I don't I, that may or may not be of in, in, of of magical nature. So okay. sure, let's find out. That'd be like over an hour. Yeah. So first thing is actually the canister of weird shit from the Anunnaki. Ah, yeah, I did grab that, didn't I? You did, yes. Uh, yes, I want to use that app to open a PDF. My God, computer! Yeah. Thanks a yeah, bunch. Yeah, what, what is that? Oh, yeah, the big old biohazard container, the one I wanted to drink. Yeah, what's in there? Uh, is, it, is it Pepsi? Baby it is Pepsi. not Pepsi. It is some kind of chemical, a neurological exciter. It can be sprayed <laughs> to produce a 20-foot diameter cloud, 10 feet in height, lingers for 1d4 rounds. And victims in the crowd, not the crowd, the cloud, are racked with uncontrollable spasms and convulsions for 1d4 rounds, unless they make a DC-12 constitution saving throw. It's oh. the good kush. DC-12? DC-12, yes. Okay, cool. The neurological exciter. It's like uh, how, liquid ecstasy. How did you know the name of how did you know the name of Scam Scaband? I'm copy and pasting right. it into the chat because there's more stuff that it does. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll be Copy pasting, oh boy. Out. Yeah, copy pasting. All right, so how about that scroll I found? The scroll uh, is written in ancient Draconic. It appears to be a scroll of the spell Resurrection. Ho! Oh. Holy fuck! That's what? useful. Uh, That's useful. That's oh, very... Like a resurrection? Holy well, fuck. Uh, keep in mind that a resurrection spell... It's not uh, true resurrection. It's not true resurrection. I believe you still need to have the remains of the person. That's right. Yeah. Like it, it, now, to be fair, it, I think I think they they have. If I remember the spell, it's a century no no older than a century deceased. So like that's true. Um, hey, if you have any buried corpses from loved ones you want to be back in the world, hit me up. <laughs> Hold on. Is there still like a? Do they still have all of, like their decomposition? Well, no. Them, it, 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 you, you have to just touch the dead remains that of someone who didn't die from old age, um, and it will restore them to life. Oh, um, that's fucking sick. Yeah, hold on. Uh, we have a corpse in a bag. <laughs> no, no. If um, no. this is my share of the treasure. Nothing else. I don't want anything else. I just want this. Oh, shit. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah. Alright, out that. of character, I understand. In character, what do you talk... You, you can't just decide that. Yes, I can. Um, I can, because uh, the rest of my share goes to Scam, so I pick one thing, he gets the rest of whatever my share would have been. As the holder of the loot, I, of course, have final say over this one. Uh, Karelian, uh, yeah, can you explain to me why you want this one? Um, Doesn't have to be overly specific, I just want a good answer. My... My wife was killed um, by an arrow that was meant to me, and I made a promise to bring her back. Oh. Wordlessly, I'll hand the scroll over to, to Corellian. That's good enough reason. I think, speaking honestly, of course, um, yeah, unless any of you else have deeply, lo deep, uh, deeply desired loved ones who met their end a little early, yeah, I think that's the only valid one we get. Well, I mean... Kellen wasn't exactly a deeply desired loved one, but we kind of dragged him into this and got him killed. Nah, yeah, we're dumping his body off in a shallow grave and calling it a day. Yeah, cool. You're terrible. Yeah, thanks. He deserves All something right. decent, at least. Okay, we'll bury him in a slightly less shallow grave, okay? We'll put a tombstone on it. Is he happy? Fine. 
Okay, Never that works. Thought you actually cared about someone. I don't. I'm not gonna leave a body out for the vultures, though. That's Probably barbaric. Wasn't talking to you, Scam. Oh yeah, I don't care I have, anyone. I have my reasons. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, uh, cool. So that goes to Corellian. Hell yeah. Um, okay, what about that large sheet of bronze with the map of Irion on it? That large sheet of bronze is not magic. Great. Okay, how about that laurel wreath with in golden leaf? The laurel wreath and golden leaf is not magic. Great. Oh, shit. How about the sheet of electrum that was written in an unknown language? The sheet of electrum in a language that none of you recognize is, is not is, magic. Is not magic. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, okay, I already know what the potion of invulnerability is. I already know what the dragon's blood is. All right, the dragon, that, that, that dark red crystal with the f- fire and infernal speech going on with it. Ah, uh, that, however, is magic. You are the father. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is a hellfire stone. Explain. When you are attuned to a hellfire stone, you can harness the unholy fires of the nine hells. I'm going to copy and paste the effect in the chat. Please do. I'm interested. And... Oh. Neat. (laughs) Hell yeah. Nice. Okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. Can I... And are the other two things magical or no? The other two things are magical. Oh, Uh, shit. Okay, cool. So look. Then let's let's yeah let's start with a um, uh the the bone and wood trinket. The bone and wood trinket is an enchanted trinket. It absorbs one hundred total points of fire damage and then will break forever. Oh, nice. We'll use that in emergencies. Out yeah, of that's a surprise tool that will help us later. That is, if we ever get caught in something <laughs> terrible. Yeah, and then lastly, that large emerald crystal. Uh. The Emerald Crystal is an Oikron Crystal. I'll spell it out in the chat. Please do. Oikron. Oikron. Okay, what does that do? Uh, They are highly secretive and highly rare, found only in only a couple places of the Prime Material Plane. Uh, And it takes a whole lot of care to harvest them and not damage them. Whenever an Oikron Crystal is touched by another magical item... They immediately nullify all magical effects around them, as if an anti-magic field had been cast. Oh, shit. Uh, That's really nice. I look at the crystal. Continue. For this particular... For this particular crystal, uh, it lasts for 1d4 minutes in a 100-foot radius sphere, and then is destroyed. Oh. Okay, so it has to be, like, consciously used, yeah? You have to touch a... When these crystals are touched by another magical item... Okay, because Scam's yeah. like, this was in my bag of holding. <laughs> this was in your bag of holding. <laughs> but it didn't technically touch the bag itself. It did not touch the bag. Scam is now visibly sweating over the major close call he just had. So wait, uh, out, of, out of character, if we were to take... The Oikron, or how do you say that? Oikron. Yeah, I was right. Oikron crystal. And touch the fire ring that the Okidi had. Would that dissipate all of his magic? For 1d4 minutes. That would be enough time to take it and kill him. And destroy the ring. I'm going to tuck that into my... I think we should keep it and save it just in case we encounter him again. Yeah, I'm going to tuck that into a pocket. Um, and not my bag of holding anymore. <laughs> nope. Because that, that is a disastrous game of operation waiting to happen. Uh, Scab, can I, can I see that, uh, Hellfire Crystal? I definitely have not told anyone what the Hellfire Crystal is. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not telling anyone that yet. Okay, Definitely right. holding on to that piece of information. Okay, what I just said did not happen. <laughs> Time rewinds. Non-canon. <laughs> AU. Yeah, snaps fingers, cast gift of gab. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, Hellfire Crystal. And, and, and I was like, oh, what? Gift of gab. <laughs> Just got that one out of your mind. <laughs> oh, you don't remember anything. Um, <laughs> cool. 
Uh, I believe that's everything. So, yeah. Um, oh, man. Interesting. Yeah, we can talk about who gets what later. Back to Baton or is I mean, we gotta go to we gotta go to we gotta go to Mirandu first. That's right, I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah, we gotta get go back to Paulette. Yeah. Um, return this piece of shit. I just kind of like slap the um spider construct onto one of its fucking servos. Bang bang! It it does not react to the slap. Yep. Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to stay the night because it's evening and you oh, are, no, in fact, yeah. in town? Definitely, definitely staying the night. Sure. Yeah. All right. You uh, you arrive back in Mawthorn, laden with a whole lot of gold. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sora and uh, the other lady. Jenna, um, yeah. Jenna. Jenna, yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's been a, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations, you are the two sole survivors of the expedition. Uh, and so, as such, you get your shares paid equally. I give them each four thousand gold in their shares. Their eyes go immediately wide. Jenna mutters, "Well, this is worth almost dying three times." <laughs> Yeah, actually, roughly the approximate cost of being revived three times. So you're welcome. It's, yeah. Anyway, um, I, I assume you are all good with the gold value. The magical items will be taken back to the, uh, the, the, the Tinker's Guild in, Ma in Port Miranda. Does that sound, uh, um, equitable? Yeah, none of, none of that shit really, uh, really appeals to me, says Soro. Yep, well, there you go. Your money has been paid in full. We release you from your contract. And, uh, oh, yeah, one more thing. I fucking dump out the halfling's body from the bag of holding <coughs> onto the stonework. Would you mind arranging for his burial? Sure. Uh, Sora, Sora casts Animate Dead and he rises as a zombie. Done! Yes! 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 <laughs> wow! Yes! Um, Stamp is dying and he high fives Sora and he goes off into the city castle of maniacs. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Jenna stares at Sora you're despicable and walks off Sora's gonna be like, a major um, can you show me how to do that uh yeah you just like need a little bit of bone a little bit of blood uh, obviously you're gonna need a corpse uh, you wanna go kill that guy says Sora pointing at some random guy <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe if something's a little more already dead, you know? Look, I'm uh, calling it now. <laughs> I'm calling it now. In the next campaign, there is going to be a major necromancer villain who is going to be revealed to be Sora. I am calling this in advance. <laughs> <laughs> look, look I, I'm just saying there's a whole lot of potential bodies around here if you want to go get one. I mean, you could go back to that, that burial site a little bit south, see if there's anything left there. Those graves will be ransacked, I... <laughs> Quintessa runs off. Momo looks at Tiam, like, what did she go up to? You think I'm paying attention? Fair enough. <laughs> um... Maybe, <laughs> uh, fine, fine, okay, okay. Uh, Momo is gonna go look for some random corpse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of identifying stuff, something I forgot. Uh, there uh -oh. is still the upgrade to the great work. All oh, in yeah. air quotes. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. All right. What was the upgrade? When you hit a target with a spell attack, you can choose to roll a second d20 before calculating damage. If you roll an 11 or higher, it turns into a critical hit. If you roll a 10 oh. or lower, it turns into a critical hit on you. I see. Hmm. Excellent. Um, question. Is that, like, the base rule or the roll after, like... <laughs> 
the roll the roll after. So the initial attack roll does not automatically become a critical hit. It is a all right. So uh, let's say chaos bolt hits. I want to try and make this a critical hit, and that's when you would choose to roll the second d twenty. Okay, so the second d twenty doesn't like add your like spell proficiencies or whatever. Flat d twenty. Could I in wait? Question: Would I be able to reaction use uh, flash of genius to that? Ah, uh, or is it a flat d twenty? It's a flat d twenty. Okay, that's fine. So, what do I have to roll to find a corpse? Investigation. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah, it's it's Mothorn. There's probably one just slumped in an alley somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow, you're really bad about finding dead bodies in a wretched hive of scum and villainy. He's not good at No, doing Momo, that. you want to look over in the alley, I'll give Momo fl- uh, Flash of Genius, make that a 15. Okay, you point over to the alley, yeah, it looks like you found some poor halfling bastard who got mugged and stabbed to death. Oh. <sighs> okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> Just remember, Momo, gotta clear your conscience. This fellow was probably iced for a reason. Okay, okay. Seen dead bodies before. I have necrotic powers for some reason. I've used them before. I could do it again. Cracks his knuckles. He's like, oh, I have no conscience. I well, am. Um... Okay, hold on. Wait, no. Maybe, backtrack a little bit there, yeah. Momo. Hold on. Yeah, hold the Reserve. fuck up, says Sora, who I'm assuming you're. <laughs> Yeah. Going along Hold on, just yeah, maintain a little bit of conscience. You just keep a little bit of conscience. Yeah, like a little little voice in the back of your head. Yeah, you're escalating this really fucking quickly. I take that back. Momo's going to be a major necromantic villain in the second campaign. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be Momo. Okay. Now what? All right. Yeah, you just need a drop of blood, a little bit of his flesh, and a little bit of bone dust. Lucky for you, all that's in there already. <laughs> yeah, it's because he's um. dead. I remember doing this before with Magda, so... No idea who that is! Uh, old friend. Um, okay. And Animate Dead? It's Animate Dead, yes. Like, like, Scam, like, leans over to Sora and kind of, like, mumbles, does this feel like a fucked up babysitting kind of situation to you, too? You know, for 4,000 gold... Any babysitting situation is just gonna be sure. Why not? Have fun, kid. Yeah, fair. And he casts animate dead. All right. The uh, the dead halfling rises, groaning as a zombie. Fun. <laughs> okay. What now? How do I control it? Momo, question: Is this considered sacrilege for you? <laughs> I don't know anymore. You just tell him what so to many do. Things. Just tell him what to do. Have, hey, uh, have him do a backflip. Do a backflip? The halfling bends over here, snap as his spine falls. He flops onto the ground, slaps his hands onto the ground, kicks his legs up weakly. They fall back down. Yeah! <laughs> do it again! <laughs> Did I just not have enough willpower, or was that intention, or did that just happen because of a state the, of it? The Walking Dead don't tend to be very light on their feet. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh. Hey, look, Momo, there's a rat over there. Have it eat it. Okay, uh, eat the rat. The oh. zombie snap stands up, grabs the rat, and just... <laughs> Immediately starts biting through it. Oh! Oh, Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, wait, hold on. One more thing. Momo, here, stand next next to it. Stand next to it. Why? Just stand next to it, Momo. Let me do this. It's going to be good. Okay. He hesitantly stands next to the corpse. Okay, give like a thumbs up or something. I take out just like a like he a makes rectangular. The t- t- thumbs up too. <laughs> I, I hold it was like a random little like you know board of wood I found nearby that's like roughly like you know the size of a picture frame or something. Right. And I just like hold it up. I'm magical t- uh, tinkering to capture this image like a photograph. <laughs> so I now have a photo 
of Momo <laughs> thumbs up next to their new zombie pal. <laughs> Oh, I hate this. I show Momo the picture. Well, uh, why would you do that? Why hey, would you to remember this? Uh, to remember the, to remember the occasion. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's a big deal for you. Yeah. Momo's first necromantic summoning. This isn't my the first time I've done this. Oh shit. Hey, sorry, would you mind like signing right can you autograph like right here? Sure, uh 20 gold. Don't Yep, I toss him 20 gold, worth every penny. <laughs> Alright, Sora pulls out an ink pen and signs the picture. Momo looks at the corpse, and the corpse looks at him, and they just shake their heads simultaneously. Ah, this is beautiful, making memories at last here. Momo's actually gonna cast Animate Dead on the crunched rat. And make it, like, jump on his shoulder. You now have a zombie rat that is just on That's your out. shoulder. It is Momo, dripping blood get... and viscera onto your shoulder, Momo. That, that, oh. that is how you get fantasy syphilis. He kind of, like, stops casting anime dead and, like, pushes it off of him. Plump! The rat just collapses back into an inanimate corpse. I don't know how I should feel about this at all. I mean, you did it of your own volition. I just wanted to know how to do it! Well, fine, if it's so uncomfortable, just end it, destroy it, yeah, return just, it back to the Just stop doing that. it, kid, if it's that much of a problem for you, my god! I mean, it's not a problem. I get... He stopped casting it. Plump! The, the walking corpse immediately falls over. Ugh. Scam is just looking affectionately at the photo he's made. Memories to last forever. Or until I dispel this. I tuck it back into my coat. Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure everyone sees this. Please don't. Alright. I don't know if I should feel good or bad about this. I mean, hey, like I said, he was probably iced for a reason, so at least you gave his, uh, you know otherwise worthless corpse a few final let you know what he brought joy to at least and probably at most one person before he <laughs> finally moved on and that person just so happened to be me i found this to be very entertaining I'm glad I could hope at least. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, okay anyway uh oh, all right mm. All right. You, you need a minute there, kid? You good? Okay. I'm going to head back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, that Just done, you all head over to the campsite, pitching up uh, your tents. Malafane, you uh, you uh, get your head clear after a long day of walking along, and welcome back to Mothorn. You have a shit ton of money. Congratulations. You're 4,000 gold richer. So, um, breaking character, I was... I was informed of what happened. Um, what led to this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Momo just wanted to do it. <laughs> Momo just. Momo's oh yeah, undead curious and has back been. back at the campground. I show everyone the picture of Momo next to the raised halfling. <laughs> like just, oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. I'm just far, far away from all of you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So Scott, you have four thousand gold from the shares of the treasure that I nobly procured from the lair of Dragatha, risking life and limb to procure. Life, limb, and pants. Life, limb, and pants, which I am still not wearing any since then. So, um, you're welcome. Oh, oh, if you, if you don't want your gold, though, you can always give it back. If you're not, you know, comfortable with the whole money situation gained from a daring act of heroism. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Karelian, how's mm. your the scroll that you've procured, this great thing that you got because I risked my life? I'm, I'm like, making fucking eye contact with Malfane as I'm gesticulating wildly. This Malfane's great deus ex bit. machina that's going to save Karelian's dead wife, uh, all thanks to me. Yeah? Gonna ignore that? Okay, cool. 
Did you Scam, you've it? already got my share of the coinage. You don't need to rub it in. Yeah. Oh, fuck this guy. And then just Scam rants for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Momo is kind of having like a internal, uh, what's it called? Uh, Existential crisis? <laughs> no, he's had too many of those to even feel them anymore, so... Oh. Um, oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll get into that later. But he's like... Um... Uh, what's it called? Like... Depressed? Think... No, he's been that. Um, <laughs> It's when... I'll come up with it later. I'll think about it later. Yeah, it's not important right now. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever if you try to think of a word. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> moral compass. There you go. Okay. Yeah, got there. Moral, he's just kind of like sitting there thinking about his moral compass. Like, which way is it going? Like, why did I want to do that? Will I need it in the future? Could I use it in the future? So... He's thanking. In um, actually, to, uh, not summon the Goliath. I'm going to just write down a question for post show. Okay. Um, I actually had a question. Would it be possible to compare the bronze map we got um, compared to the one that we have currently mm, that we already yeah. had? See if there are any differences. Uh. Yes, the bronze map is clearly older. Like, there are there are a lot of cities, towns, and places of civilization on the bronze map that are not there on yours. Mawthorn, for instance, looks a lot nicer on the bronze map. Hey. Yeah. Other than that, uh, the general shape of the land is basically the same on the bronze map. No, uh, no, no cities that aren't sunken on the bronze map? Uh, no non-sunken cities on the bronze map. Okay. Alright, so, uh, I'm assuming you're just all turning in? Yep. Cool. Alright. Night passes in Mawthorn, and miraculously, you don't get robbed in the middle of the night. That is miraculous. Once again, the do you get robbed check landed on no. <laughs> nice. It's because we, listen, we have no visible wealth with us. It's all in extra planar bags and, ch and crates. They'd steal the fucking boots off of your feet. If they rolled correctly. Anyway, yep. morning has come. Ooh. Hey, so before we get back to Mir uh, Mirandu, uh, in addition to the scroll that I gave the Corellian, we need to also figure out who wants what. Um, because Corellian is giving me their share, which again, thank you, Corellian, and my ex is getting my other share. Uh, looking at what we have here, let's see, so the scroll went to Corellian, no surprise. Uh, we have this, uh, in terms of the magical things, I got this potion of invulnerability, um, which, if no one's takers, I might, you know, consider taking. Uh, Momo, are you the, Momo, are you the only one here who has a natural weapon, like, in terms of, like, claws or something? Uh, he looks down at his feet. Do you want this uh, dragon's blood that you can pour on that to make them all, you know, fiery? <laughs> uh, sure, that sounds pretty cool. Cool, because I don't think anyone else here has a uh, natural weapon. So, yeah, I toss Momo the vial of dragon's blood. Moshka wakes up from her nap. <laughs> Davey! Love her, she's a good girl. <laughs> I think that's trying to um, get something. Oh, or should we give it to Mushka? Karelian, should we give... Ooh. Which one do you think... Who should... Do you want to temporarily give Mushka flaming claws? 
I mean, it would probably honestly be useful because yeah, Momo, do you really want to be close enough to use your talents? Oh, fight? you know what? I'm like halfway giving to Momo. If you say that, might take it back. Like, oh, that is a great idea, and I toss it to Corellian. Oh, I was gonna give it to Corellian anyway. Well, good. Then we're all on the same page. Perfect. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Quintessa, if we had gotten that book, then I would probably have given that to you, since I don't fuck with that shit, but since we didn't, um, I mean, of the magical things, got this bone trinket that, you know, absorbs, I have by, by now told everyone about the Hellfire Stone, after sleeping on it a couple times, um, why? I don't know. Maybe it could give me some more useful spells or something. It does not give spells. It just deals fire damage in addition to whatever spells you are for whatever spells you're casting. Also, additionally, I'm saying this out of character. Um, it has a charisma modifier thing. So, who here has high charisma? Moderate charisma. Uh, high charisma well, and when cast you deal fire, fire damage. Yeah, when oh, you okay. deal fire damage. That's okay. than four. Okay. I mean, I I I'm okay keeping that. Uh actually, you know what? Hey, Momo, why don't you take the potion of invulnerability? I... Because that gives you resistance to damage for while you're drinking it, and that might be extremely useful to you in combat. Do you have any fire spells, Momo, other than fireball? Are you kidding? He's a light cleric. I know, I know. Okay, hold on. Uh, I what what do you want? You want the Hellfire Stone, Momo? You want the the Devil Infernal Stone? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. What god do you worship again? This has to be sacrilegious, right? Like everything you've done in the last twenty four hours has to be sacrilegious, right? What did you say the the tr wood trinket was? Oh, it absorbs a hundred points of fire damage and then is destroyed forever. I'm just going off of instinct, but that sounds like it's a Momo thing. Yeah. I feel like we should save that for, like, emergencies, though. Maybe. Well, it doesn't mean you still can't take it. Um, yeah, but, like... I'm just oh, thinking nice. based on past events and... Uh... Okay, so just to re-clarify, the Hellfire Stone is... You attuned to it. How many items are you currently attuned to, Momo? Uh, I think, uh, one. Uh, okay. Two. Um... Now... Okay, how about this? How about, Momo, how about for now I hold on to the Hellfire Stone and then we can talk about this later? Because if I attune to it, I get a bonus to, uh to some of my items. Because, you know, the amount of magical items I'm attuned to affects my performance. How about I hold on to this for now? Once we get back to Miranda and hand in the rest of the treasure to my ex, we can talk about maybe the shared ownership as the two primary fire casters of this group. Okay. Is that equitable? That sounds fair. Okay. Um, cool. So who wants the Potion of Invulnerability? Okay, that's probably good. That's probably yeah. good, really good for you. Mm -hmm. um, I have the also, all uh, that mopiness was in character. I'm I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, the Oikron crystal. I'm get. I think I'm gonna give that to Paulette maybe, because she's probably gonna ask for one of the magic items. I know it's super useful, but she might want that. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Alternatively, we could always give her the um. I don't know, the, the map of Urion, if we don't have a use for it. It's not magical. We'll see. Okay, well. And, uh, Malifane and Quintessa, do you have any particular stake in one of these items? Nope. Fair enough. Alright, then I'm all good. Alright. You can tell that Quintessa's just not paying attention. <laughs> 
you uh, you divvy stuff up. Some of you paying more attention than others, and <laughs> head back on the road to Baton Rants. On the road again. Mirandu, not Baton Rants. Mirandu. My mistake. They're both on the same road, though. So, haha. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. You cannot call me. <laughs> you cannot completely call me a fucking idiot. <laughs> Amazingly, the journey back to Mirandu is completely fine. Yeah. Man, hey, just... to be to be perfectly fair, Scam would not at all argue with just fucking over Paulette and leaving, but I don't think the group's going to go for that. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. uh, I just need a little second to put in the Port Mirandu background, but in the meantime, you are you're definitely there. Nice. All right. I mean, yeah, I head straight to the Tinker's Guild. Cool. All right. That is also what the mech would have done anyway, whether or not you decided to go somewhere yeah. else first. So, I mean, at least scam straight there, so. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Your legs are still not in Port Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. Yeah, thanks, no problem. We're right on the border. One leg is on one location and one leg is on the other. Mm. It's symbolic. We're ready to ditch at any given second. <laughs> <laughs> there. It's fine. Everything is fine. Nothing is ruined. Uh, you... Step into the Tinker's Guild, following the clockwork neck up as it walks up the stairs into Paulette's office. Uh, the receptionist, once she confirms it's you and what you're doing, just lets you through. And yeah. chunk, one of the boxes opens up. Paulette looks inside. Her eyes widen at the massive amounts Eight of gold that are there. 8,000 gold. 8,000 yes, 8, gold. I gesture... Your share and my share. Uh, 8,000 gold as agreed upon. Additionally, I show her the items that I haven't given out yet, which is, you know, isn't much. If there's anything from here that particularly catches your eye, you are also welcome to grab one. Uh, she, uh, she looks over the various items. I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna have her roll Arcana to see if she knows anything in particular about these items. Uh, she would be trained in Arcana, actually, so it's mm -hmm. gonna be more than 23, it's closer to, like, 27, 28. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. She looks over, whistles, Well, hot damn, you're not full of shit after all. Today, at least. Uh, yeah, I woke a, up in a good mood. What's, uh, what, what's the, what's the green crystal there? It's an Oikron crystal, it, uh, I explained to her. I figured you'd be particularly interested in that. Yeah, I could, uh, I could find a couple of uses for that. Pretty rare, pretty valuable, so I don't see any reason why you can't have it. All right. Uh, one of the boxes just kind of chunks up the bottom, launching the Oikron crystal into Paulette's box. <laughs> As she... Yeah, be careful. If that touches anything magical, it's going to render it non-magical. Oh! Just so you know. I'm always careful, unlike some people I know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, she takes the box, puts it on the desk. Right, well, uh, the little pack mule staying with me, so you might want to get your shit from here and uh, head on your way. Yep, that was my plan. You know, you're welcome for the money, and thank you for your patronage and supplies. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I hope to never see ugly face again. I hope that my dreams are continued to be haunted by your disgracefully attractive face. Yeah, and I just storm off. Thank you for your services, Paulette. It was much appreciated. Yes, you probably wouldn't have made it out there alive if I'm just Yeah, I mean, I, I just made the stuff to go over mountains unless you're saying that's too hard for you. All right. Me, Cool. You, uh... You all head out back into the streets of Port Mirandu. Well, that's done. 
We did it! We plundered the dragon's lair, forever earning our name as legends upon the face of Erion. Scam is noticeably, like, slumped on a, a barrel looking depressed. Mm. Peachy, I'm doing just great. Oh, hey, money for everyone! Scam tosses the remaining shares to... To, to Quintessa and to Momo. So that's 4,000 to Momo, 4,000 to Quintessa. I now have 6,000 gold. So we could go get the uh, other non magic things appraised. There are a few places around here that likely would be interested. Am I forgetting anyone's shares? Malafane? <laughs> <laughs> I gave Malphite his already when he entered. Okay. Okay. Because I'm at... I currently have 22,000 gold in my inventory. And I think I've given it to everyone. Now I gave 8,000 to Paulette. 4,000 to Quintessa. 4,000 to Malphite. 4,000 oh, each to... Oh, I know who it was. You didn't give your, your share to Moshka. Uh... Doesn't count. <laughs> Jenna and Sora? <laughs> yeah, I gave it to Jenna and Sora. I gave... Because I... So that was... Because I had a total of, like, 30... Something thousand. So, okay, so that's wait. Yeah, that's Unless that's I'm, not correct then, because you should have been subtracting a lot more. On. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I I've been removing unless I accidentally added at one point. Hold on. So let's see. I started with uh, in my bag of holding. I had um, it was like thirty two thousand gold. Thirty two thousand. And then gold. everyone got it. Yeah, thirty two thousand gold split. Eight ways is four thousand each. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay, hold on. So let's see, thirty-two thousand. Uh, so I gave it. Okay, I gave four thousand to Sora. I gave four thousand to um, Jenna. Eight thousand to Paulette. Four thousand to Malafane. Four thousand to Momo. And four. Yeah. Then I should only have four thousand left from that chunk. Um, so, I what? regrettably cannot remember how much I had before that, uh, so I'm trying to- Oh, wait, you know what, maybe the 20,000 is from the all the other money I found. Uh, yeah. I guess? No, because yeah. I- No, no, because I started off with, uh... uh <laughs> have you- have you distributed the Anunnaki's treasure? That's why I think I think that's where the, the confusion is because I, I so we had thirty two thousand to start, but when in my inventory it showed up as like thirty, I think it was like thirty six thousand four hundred and eleven is what I said, and I'm sorry that we're lingering on the math here, so let me let me go through real quick. Uh, combining both the platinum and the gold, I calculate it's about uh, twenty seven hundred per person. Oh, I mean, for the Anunnaki, right? From the Anunnaki, yes. Okay, cool. We'll get to that in just a second. So yeah, I, I believe. I said I had 36,411, and we can always go back and, like, after this episode, like, because I, I said it out loud how much I had total. Okay. So, subtract 32,000 from that, leaving me with 4,411. That's what we'll say it is for now. Um. Oh, I think I know what it is. I It's because I didn't subtract from, um, how much platinum I have. So it stopped subtracting from my gold value. I see how I, where the math got fucked up. So yes, for, so for now we'll say that I have 4,411. And I don't think I marked down. No, I did mark down. I definitely did mark down. Because oh, yeah. I have, because I have about like, I'm sorry guys, this is. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I, have, I have like 90 platinum left over. Okay, cool. Again, I'm just gonna say I have four thousand and something, and we'll f figure out the math of that later. <laughs> math, okay. Hey, we'll 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 re we'll go back and figure that out another time. All right. Uh, in the meantime, as you all get back to the one inn that still allows scam likely in it, uh, Momo. You receive a message from sending. Uh, it is from Magder, actually. 
you hear? Or tell you were worried about some kind of mind flare. Think one of them might have sent an agent after me. Be on your guard, little brother. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. I'll alert the others. Stay safe. All right. Sending is Guys? complete. I, uh... Oh, What's fuck. Oh my god, okay, so I legitimately whoa, whoa, just got, like, Ooh. shivers and my, my my stomach just dropped. Oh my god, okay. So, I, uh, is everyone in, like, a communal area? I'll say yes. Or, okay. Sure. Um, guys, so, uh, Magdal, uh, Rin and Scam, if you don't know who he is, he's someone we met back in, uh, Demdor. And... For those of you who have forgotten what Magda looks like, whee! Oh shit. Yep. My boy! His name is not actually. What the fuck is that? M- M- Mac Padrig? Mac Padrig. <laughs> Mac Padrig. Jeez. Uh, no, yeah, that beard looks like it was. It's a bandana that's going over the beard. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Why? <laughs> because he brings in corpse dust as his day job, that's why. Oh shit. Ah, uh, okay. yes. He is a necromancer. Cool. Okay. Fun times. Yes. The last, the only necromancer in Demdor, from what I recall. Yeah. You can tell that he has, like, apprehensiveness and worry in his eyes. I just got a message from Magdor, and um, he said that he asked me if there was some mind flare business because something, someone sent, like, what did he say was sent after him? Agent. An agent. He said an agent was sent after him. And that we should be on my guard. Okay. Okay. So... Okay. Hey. Okay. Yes. Okay, did he say anything else then? Oh, um, just... Be on a guard and be safe. Did he sound... Well... Ken? Can you speak up a little bit? Or... Yeah, you're really quiet. Yeah, sorry. Did he sound panicked? No, he sounded calm, but... Definitely urgent. Hmm. I suppose that, based on that, we can at least assume that he's not in danger to be... At the very least. And for that, I guess we should be thankful. I suppose. That said, as he said, we should be on our guard. Yeah. You all have any other thoughts? I mean, I doubt the Oread would, uh, let something come to... let, let, let their prisoner come to harm from anyone other than themselves, so. I'm just looking forward to getting back to Baton Rance. I don't care what we do next. I need a, a pint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should uh, we, we should maybe uh, get some of the other objects we got appraised, the non-magical ones, see yeah. if we could get yeah. a scratch out of them. Well, we would check Pulse, but uh, yeah... What's wrong with Pulse? It's kind of uh, much worse for wear in a You're thinking speaking. about Isles of Isles. I'm thinking of Isles of Isles. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to Pulse and get this appraised because I know Pulse. All right. You, uh, Have we taken a long rest since? We've taken several long rests. You've taken a couple long rests. It's been, it's been travel days. Yeah, you're all good. Okay, okay. cool. Um, yeah, so how much is this shit worth, Alex? All right. Because uh, I still have the uh, the map, the wreath, the um, the silver tablet in unknown writing. Cool. Uh, uh, it's a lectrum. Uh, so, yes. quick appraisal. Uh, Pulse, Pulse likes the map the, in the sheet of bronze. That's worth 1,150 gold. The, uh, the wreath, the wreath he is a big, 
the wreath they, pardon me, are a big fan of, uh, worth 2,120 gold. And then the Electrum, they don't know what the writing means, so they shrug, worth 150. Uh, I'll sell them. Um, the uh, actually, uh, on the actually, Electrum, maybe I'd like, not. Yeah. I'd I'm not selling them the like Electrum. Take, no, actually, that, I'd like to... Uh, and he sort of like, takes a hold of it. it I, huck right. at, I huck it at Malvane. Bam! Like a big, like a big metal frisbee. <laughs> um, oh, no! <laughs> hang on, on. Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> this in calm out of it, damn it. Uncanny dodge. <laughs> you uncanny dodge to reduce the damage of being thrown That's a large sheet of electrum. <laughs> An extremely valid use of uncanny dodge. I will give you the best possible anyway, use of uncanny dodge. <laughs> I, I will sell the other two, though, I think. That's safe to say. Unless uh, okay. they were opposed to selling the map. Alright? Cool. Then I will add that total to my inventory. Which I've, I've just converted all the wealth into gold right now because I'm just trying to keep it simple. Fair enough. Um, and I'll just, I'm going to go back and watch the, the, the VOD later and find out where my math got wonky. All right. So that's a total of 32, sorry, 3,270. Cool. 3,270. Cool. All right. You hand it off. Pulse immediately starts wearing the wreath. It looks really good on them. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Malifin, what were you what were you thinking about doing with that? Because I had an idea as well. <laughs> uh, a little bit of research on this. Truly, don't have any. In if we truly don't understand the, the language on it, then maybe one of the books in at the hall has some information on it. Mm -hmm. Uh. You you got real roboty there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you got buddy. super roboty uh, over there. Oh, hang on. Ro it's Robofane. Robofane. Test, test. Check, yeah, check, okay. Yeah, check. Okay, cool. Good so far. Okay. Um, I just supposed if that if any of the books at Battenrands had any sort of likeness, it, if any of the book, yeah, if any of the books at Battenrands had any sort of likeness to what's written on here, that maybe there was a match. What did you have in mind? Well, we are in Port Mirandu. We could swing by the Igni and see if maybe there was someone there who recognized it and could appraise it. Academics, scholars, so on and so forth. Just a suggestion. They might have a more active library than we do at Baton Rants. That's certainly a better idea. Okay. Okay. That's weird. Alrighty. Cool. <laughs> so you're heading over to the academy? Yes. I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Uh. I don't think there's any particular tracks I need to add for the Magical Academy, so congratulations, you're getting... <laughs> Continuation of this one. <laughs> uh, real quick, Alex, what is the rarity of the Hellfire Crystal, by the way? The Hellfire Crystal is uncommon. Cool, good to know. What's happening? <laughs> okay. Am I dying? No, that's not I, you. I can't no. tell. Okay. I think I it's Scott. Tell. I think it's Scott. Yeah, he just dropped from the Hangouts. Hello. Hello. Yo. Here we go. Okay. My net That's is fine. Dying. Thanks, Obama. Anyway, uh, Obama. you head over to the academy. It's getting pretty late into the evening, so you get the faces of a lot of wide awake students at the academy and a lot of very sleepy guards at the academy. As you head inside, uh, show show off the sheet of electrum. A lot of people are very confused, but after about an hour of, uh, of searching, you hear a little cough behind you, and turn, and Mr. Fox is standing behind you. Oh no. What does he want? Ah. Pleasure. Hmm. 
Of course. I have been hearing tell that you've been rather busy in Dragatha's lair. My congratulations on making it out in one piece. That's a fox. Much appreciated. That's, that is uh, a Yugoloth. Not a fox. Close, honey. That's a Yugoloth. A very nasty one at that. Nasty? <laughs> what have I ever done Hi, scam anything likely. to nice inconvenience to you? you? Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you there. Hi, Scam Likely. Nice to meet you. Mr. Fox, a pleasure. Mr. Fox, oh, for fuck's sake. No, no. What? Ah, good play on words, if that was indeed your intention. Scam's no. nose starts to bleed as he's like, how's Chilt? And just wipes my nose. <laughs> you hear, bam, 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 and then some panting as a Goliath walks in. Sorry, had to run all the way from Mothon. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> no, no, I, 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 Scam holds me like, no, 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 allow me. Then Scam punches himself in the deck in the call again. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Well, you know me, I'm always in the market for books, tomes, scrolls of a rare and arcane nature. Like what you have there. Do you find something am- Do you find something amusing? I don't know why this is so funny. Is- I, I think you might need some rest. I'm gonna just- do you need some rest here? Laughter. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fox ca- casts silence around Quintessa. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> that means mute yourself. <laughs> As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, <laughs> I'm always interested in... Uh, Rare magical books, tomes, scrolls, and the like. And it would appear that you happen to have one in your possession. Well, technically speaking, you have a couple, but the one I am most interested in, the little Electrum sheet you have there. Yeah, why do you want it? Well, I'd say it's worth... Hmm. Oh, I'll be generous. 2,000 gold. Hmm, try a little higher. First things first, what do you know about it? I know that I'm probably the only person in Port Mirandu who can read it, and the only person who would have any use for it. 3,000 gold. And why would you have use for it? 4,000 gold and no more questions. Hmm... How, um, can I can I make an insight check to see? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Okay. On that? Sh- sure, I guess. Does Does anyone here have the spell comprehend languages? Mama does. I do. Remember, they use it on you. They use yeah. it on you. Yeah. I have tongues. We have tongues. <laughs> that That's for spoken languages, not spoken language. Oh, all right. Hold but on, do you let me, have comprehension? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Fox is an exceptionally hard figure to read. Uh, but from what you can tell, uh, this is a lost sheet that he's very interested in collecting and putting in some library somewhere. Mm. Uh, any mm. any news, Momo? I do not have the spell copy. Prepared or just don't have it? I just don't have it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Fourth, mm. no question. Good, good, good call to me. You want? It's a uh, yeah. I'd say that's a pretty decent deal. Although I do like to know who I'm, you know, associating with here. Uh, you said your name. I mean, we can we can fill you in on that uh, ourselves. Cl- clerics can't learn comprehend languages. Yeah, it's a bummer. Oh, frick. Yeah, it's a bummer. I thought Bruh. another thing did have comprehend languages. I'm I'm a rogue fighter. I don't have spells. Don't you have like 
a language thing that you use to learn what language? language That's for is? spoken language, unfortunately, not oh, for. Uh, okay, yeah. My bad. I'll, uh, I mean, I'll, even see, the, I'll even put yeah. it in the. I'll even put it in So yeah. our options here are to give it to him for four thousand, which is a nice sum. Um. Uh. You know what? Uh, how, about, how much does he? How much is he leading on, or how much does he know? Yeah, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, he seems to be hiding something from us. How much uh, does it seem like he's hiding something? Yes. With a twenty-two insight, shrug. <laughs> okay. Scam looks up at at Mr. Fox and says, "Tell you what, I'm willing to cut you a bargain. Mm-hmm. I'll sell this to you for two thousand gold and." A translation of the sheet into common that you will give to us. Mm. He seems to mull it over. I believe the value of a secret is far more than just sharing it with you, especially for a mere 2,000 gold difference. Hmm. Clearly, this is something you have a, a, a deep interest in. And I have a sinking feeling that if we were to walk away from this deal, we might suddenly find ourselves short of this at some point in the future. So... You have my word. I have no intention of simply taking this from you. Mm. Clearly, this is worth a great deal to you. Tell you what, I would like to cast... You... 4,000 gold. You, you you see that 4,000 gold seems to be pretty neat. I would like to, uh, have, during this whole bartering process, suddenly cast Distort Value to make it seem like it's worth double its value. Okay. Um, I'm pulling up the details of that spell real quick, um, just so I can post it in, into the chat. Might as well I'll try to, to swing a little bit extra here um, before I hand this off. Um... I did prepare that spell. Huzzah. Um, I should have done that on the things I sold to, to, to Pulse, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, I'm going to cast this. It's... So that's double. Um, if this thing is bigger than one foot on a side, I'm going to cast this at a higher spell slot. It's, so you know. it's fairly big. Uh, yeah. How, how big is it? I'd say it's like uh, roughly, roughly four foot slap. Oh, I'm really glad I cast. I used. Will you accept three feet? <laughs> uh, I will accept three feet. <laughs> okay. I will also Can let I... you know. He has detect magic up. <laughs> That's fine. All this is is a uh, uh, a a <laughs> a verbal thing. So, I mean, yeah, you can probably detect it. Um, He's probably going to figure this out, but I might as well try. Okay, cool. I'll cast that. So he needs to make an investigation check. Uh, he, DC he, of 16. He can tell it's magic. He cast detect magic, though. Mm. But does he know what the magic is doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, fine. Well, rules as written, no. I think he could roll Arcana to try and figure out more specifics, but he does know there's magic. I'll have... I'll have him roll Investigation first and then Arcana. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I don't even I don't even respond. I'm just like, hey, that can't fault right. a guy for trying. Um, Disappointing, but not entirely unsurprising. So many people yeah, seem to you... think they can get the better deal of me. Wow, and you just met him, too. You consider yourself a deal maker? I do, indeed. Yeah, what kind of deals you offer? Mm. Well, that, of course, depends on what one has to offer in trade. In someone's case, it could be a soul or two. In another, well, it could be that little Electrum Sheet. I'd say the Electrum Sheet is worth far less to you than your souls, wouldn't you agree? Hmm. I will, you know, there are some who would debate that in my case, but you know what? You know, valid. How about this? All right, and if you don't agree with it, we can sit with four thousand. Okay, three thousand gold for the tablet, and you tell me and me alone the translation, and I will never speak of it to another soul. We stick with the four thousand. 
you know, it was worth a shot. I hand over the tablet. All right. Uh, Mr. Fox snaps his fingers, and this massive mountain of gold, not in any bag, just boom, dumps on the floor in front of you. Yeah, shit, I just take my bag of holding and I scoop it up. <sighs> a pleasure doing business with you, Scam Likely. Mr. Fox disappears, his various spells wear off of silence, tech magic, and whatnot. I come back. Yeah, so, um, cool. Who was that? Uh, he occasionally comes and makes deals with us in the most inconvenient or most convenient. So do, I like any, do I have any idea what that was? Make an arcana check. Come to th while you're doing that, come to think of it, we know a lot of people like that, don't we? Mostly the two. Um, he's a Yugoloth, I believe we ascertained. He's had so a addition, particular interest in the Batman, Batman Red Slide. Yeah, so in addition to what Krillin just said in my 19 arcana check. Yeah, uh, knowing that it is a Yugoloth, you know that Yugoloths are extra planar, and they probably come from Gehenna? They... Mm -hmm. A lot of people are up in arms as to where Yugoloths come from, but they're definitely not from the Prime Material Plane. Brad, cool. And I just sold that to him. Who knows what was on there? Mm -hmm. Eh, it's fine. Probably won't come back to... No, there probably won't be consequences of this one. Ah, yes, you know all about consequences to making deals, Malafane, right? <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke. You're the one who's being all huffy about it. Let's just move on. Let's go. All right. And you turn Sam in is like, he's for like the walking night. out, and he's just like, oh, look, I'm Malafane. I'm grumpy all the time. Stop me, it. Me. Oh, sorry. And so you turn in for the night. And wake up to the usual hustle and bustle of Port Mirandu. You know, it's been a pretty decent journey. I'm ready to leave this city. This has been a not decent journey. I'm ready to head back home. Likewise. I'd certainly take the sounds of construction over what we've just been through. All right, but picture the most hellish dungeon imaginable. A lot of fire and death, but also construction noises. What do you um, mean? That was helping me out here. Which one of hmm. the spells that I have will allow me to like see one person in the area that they are in right now? Scrying or clairvoyance. Scrying. Okay. Or clairvoyance. I'm going to cast scrying as a ritual spell on our way back. And I'm going to look... Can I look at just Baton Rants in general? Uh, I believe it could be a location or a person. I think it's location or person, yes. Okay. Uh, if you put it in chat, it'll, it'll help us figure it yeah. out. Post it in chat. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's a creature. It's a creature. It's, it's clairvoyance. That is a locate. That is a place. Um. So it has to be a person. Okay. Oh wait! Instead of tar instead of targeting a creature at the bottom, you can choose a location that you oh. have seen before. Oh well, there you Baton go. Rants. Okay. Baton rants. Where in Baton yeah. Rants? Just like. The front gates, where I can see like the entire front of Batman's. Okay. Uh, you look at the front of Baton Rants through scrying. Uh, you immediately hear the sounds of construction because they are w currently working on the advanced siege defenses project. Okay. But other than that, looks like just. Guards and Maggie in the front gate guardhouse area. Okay. Is there no one trying to get in or trying to like get out? Any... Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're good. Better safe okay. than sorry. Always. Yeah. Just, side just, on just wanted caution. to check. Magdor's message kind of put me on edge there. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to do. Thank you. Okay. Let's head out. All right. You head back into the open road on the plains toward... Uh, I was about to make a regular roll and not a secret GM roll. Freaking incredible. Another quiet trip over to Baton Rats Hall. We're so good, guys. Hell yeah. All quiet on the eastern front. All according to plan. All right. All, All according, according to Kaikaku. 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 And there's the construction noises. Uh, you step through the gates uh, as early evening starts to set in, and people are doing some heavy construction on the walls, putting in advanced siege defenses. And from what you can see, there are a couple of uh, siege weapons also set up. Kind of... Not in any uniform order, but there are, like, ballista, cauldrons, catapults, and stuff all set up along the walls. Siege weapons are ready. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, good to see progress has been made. Yeah. Also, also prepped since you were out are the herbalism lab and additional jail cells. Oh, Nice. Is there anything currently in progress? Still in progress? Advanced right? siege defenses. Cool. Hey, Corellian, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I just want to split off from the group, so it's just... Just us. Okay. So this, uh... Dead wife of yours... Wait, sorry, that was probably a little too harsh uh, in the common talk. This deceased loved one... Is that better? I'm trying here. Where are they buried? Not entirely sure, unfortunately. However, I do know where her father's and family's estate are. So if anything, she's probably been recovered she was probably recovered by them. I see. Where's that at? Um, you heard of Lord Ibranon, High Elf, uh... It tickles the back of my memory. Right. Um, well, I know his hunting grounds are out west, and I presume I would know where his estate would be. Yeah, it's a national aura. Sense to. Yeah, uh, his estate in sh is in Ashen Alora, but, um, he definitely has other... Places of interest he visits. Uh... Well, uh, I'm glad that you Oops, sorry. have an option for potentially doing this. Listen, my understanding of this spell is that it's uh, it's it's pretty uh, it's a formidable spell. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly the limits of your own capabilities are. However, that said, I feel like it's going to be a, a bit of a gamble unless, you know, out of character. What ma What's the maximum spell level you can cast? I mean, I'm a, I'm a quarter caster, so yeah. level three right now. And hey, Jojo, just remind me, what's the max level spell that, jo uh, that the Momo has? It's five? Uh, yeah. Okay. I believe. Listen, so uh, you're probably gonna need help casting this thing. And while this is not necessarily my purview in terms of magic, I know I can at least lend a hand in matters of uh, abilities. So uh, just want to let you know that you know I, I'm gonna. I'll help you. You know I'm gonna help you out. I, I want to see this. Uh, just loved one of yours. I want to see this not go off poorly i want to see it happen you know effectively because that would be a waste of a fucking resurrection scroll and i don't want you to be like you know mondo depressed if it fails so you know probably gonna tag along and make sure that it actually functions correctly thanks scott yeah you're welcome um that said you got any money um I mean, I... Because I have a shit ton. Come on, let's go buy a drink. 
Sounds good. All right. Let's get wasted. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get Mondo wasted. Scam and Karelian head off to get Mondo wasted. Quintessa locks herself in the library. Which leaves Momo and Malifane. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, what are, what are you two doing? I was just kind of like standing there just... So, I'm just gonna go. I, yeah, yeah. So I'm. I'm. Bye. Yeah, go something. Yeah. Bye. The two of you go <laughs> place. Not the same place, but you go place. We go places. He's gonna. He's gonna go behind Batman, like in the backyard or something. And see if he can't experiment with animate dead soon. Dark. Fucked up. Dark. You wanna go up. like farther away than the backyard? <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna go like into the forest area close to where that giant lake is where we found Man, it. I don't remember the backyard against being this dark. <laughs> <laughs> Can Fuck you yeah. help us defy the laws of God and man? Great! Great! <laughs> <laughs> Can you help us set our moral compass? All right. Um, you do that. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's already gone. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! No! I. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, while you think of that, uh, Momo, you find uh, what looks to be the mostly eaten corpse of a deer in uh in the forest behind Baton Rants. Okay, he gets like the je- the the heebie-jeebies. It's just okay. What I even use this for? Uh, okay, all right. Okay, okay. He's gonna cast animate dead on the deer. All right. With the crack and crunch of bones, the deer. Uh, steps up back to a fully upright stance as flesh just slips off of its bones, dropping onto the ground around it. (laughs) Go find a Y-shaped stick. Uh, I, I don't he, think it he's has just any knowledge experimenting. of the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> the deer, uh, goes off to find, uh, it walks around like, in circles. It looks like a dowsing rod. That's better. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than a Y-shaped stick to a deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> find a dowsing rod. Shaped stick. The deer walks around, examining every single stick in the middle of the forest. Nope, not that one. Goes over. Nope, not that one. Goes over. Nope, not that one. Goes over. Nope, not that one. (laughs) This could go on for weeks or months. (laughs) He commands the deer to come back to him. Then he picks up a stone, throws it somewhere behind it, and says, no, he he throws a copper piece and says, find the copper piece I just threw. You play fetch with your zombie deer. It walks over. He wants to see if it can find certain things. He's experimenting and practicing. The deer turns around and walks over to the copper piece and stops. Walks over to it, picks it up. Okay. We used to find things. Um. Alright. I don't know how. 
how I feel about this, so if anyone found out what I was doing, okay. He, uh, stops casting Animate Dead. Trump! The deer collapses to the ground in a corpse-like heap. He finds some, like, uh, water hemlock by the, the, the river and mm. just puts it by the deer's head. And then, like, briskly walks back to Baton Rance, thinking about his experiments. Alright. The arch necromancer Momo sans vol. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, I shall play fetch! I am as god! <laughs> I am your new god! Go fetch, boy! Uh, meanwhile, Malifane, have Horrifying. you figured out what you're gonna do? <laughs> Well, I guess the event has kind of ended already, so I guess now I kind of have decided. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm i gonna go to the library. So she Something seemed up with... So I guess I'm gonna check up on her. Okay. Yes, good. Door's still locked, so... Do with that what you will. Tessa? Are you in there? You don't hear anything. Honey, it's it's me. It's it's Malifane. I, I I just wanted to check up on you. If you listen a bit more closely, you can just about catch the sounds of <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh is the you said the door is locked, right? Door is locked, yes. Hmm. Oh gosh, he's really worried about her, but I don't want to break in, so... <laughs> I'm respecting your privacy There's... by knocking, but respecting my authority as your fiancé by <laughs> coming, God, in anyway. coming in anyway! <laughs> Holy fuck, um, where is she in the building? Oh, she... Library. <laughs> Library. Well, yes. Oh right, I guess it only has one floor. Uh, can I look? I'm gonna look through the window just to see. What window? Can I just check it. What window? There's the not a window. There's not a window into the library. What the? Fu I Why mean, don't the libraries have windows? You're Maybe gonna have you to ask. Start her up on the second floor. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you? This you want to climb? You want to climb outside, then up to the second floor and appear in the whatever windows in the I library. I want to do a little dance. I want to. I want to commit to step in time. <laughs> Step in time, step in time! <laughs> <laughs> creep a little, step in time, creep a little, step in time. Stop! Um, oh gosh, I... Uh, in that case, maybe it's best that I just come back later then. Um, I didn't think I'd get this far. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll check in on the herbalism, whatever, then. Alright. Uh... Herbalism Lab is currently uh, not being manned, but it is another room on the second floor of Baton Rance Hall, filled with a lot of various uh, plants. Uh, obviously, there are several herbs, various common varieties. Looks like a place this small is where people with herbalism kits can work with a good supply of objects and work together with other people who know how to use an herbalism kit. How long does it look like it's been up for? Oh gosh, uh... Like, I remember that it was ready when you guys got to Dragatha's Lair, so a couple days. Okay. Um... Yeah, all I have is number of days until something is done, and then is it done for my keeping track of things. No, Enter. that's fair. Um, I think Malifane's just kind of going to kind of look around, take a little look at a plant here... Kind of just snoop around at a, at a like a bottle or so here. Just kind of, I don't know. It just kind of seems interesting to him. Like this isn't too far from the whole, from the whole alchemy thing, all things considered. So I don't know. It's just kind of intriguing to him, I suppose. Yeah, it looks it looks like I could. It could do some good stuff with the right tools. Uh, 
Like, especially if you were in need of making a rare tincture, this is probably where you'd go to do that. Um, we had something on hand I wanted to look at. Um... Is there anything in here that's just present that looks like something used before or that we've come into contact with? Uh, in theory, yes. A lot of the stuff that would go into a medicine kit can be found in here just in pre-ground-up medicine form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of various common, easily obtainable plants from around Erion in here. So All right. you don't have to go around looking for is is this Oriad rockweed? I guess I'm gonna have to go all the <laughs> way up <laughs> to go get it. God. Um. All right. I think in that case, I'm satisfied with uh, with the knowledge I have here. I really don't have anything else to do, so I guess I'll just oversee the the rest of the construction for the day. Cool. Meanwhile. Three drinks in the tavern. <laughs> I'm assuming Scam and Corellian are having a great time. The best time. Yeah, great. Absolutely wonderful. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are thoroughly sauced. Thoroughly sauced. Lost in the sauce, one might say. Yep. Bleh. I'm at the part where I can taste how drunk I am. Oh, God. Same, honestly. Blah. We got to kill a mind flayer. Yeah, we sure fucking do. Maybe we should go resurrect your wife first. I don't... I mean... Because, like... Yeah. Because if we die fighting it, like, there goes yeah. that. Yeah, you're, you're right. No, it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great, great time. Just uh, waltz right on in. Hello, Lord Ebernon. It's me, Carlion, the person, or the, the, the thing, rather, you absolutely fucking hate, who married your daughter for reasons you don't understand. Wait, and, wait, stop right there, stop right there, stop. Hold on. Let's uh, just No, idea. What if what if what if they never know you're involved, right? What if what if I pretend to be kind of like, hey, I uh, I am listen, it's not the first time I've pulled a con before, okay? I um like hey, I can Bring, I can resurrect your tragically deceased daughter. I mean, we can figure out the, the how, the whys, and all that later. But, like, and that way it's like, yeah, I just need to do this. And then you never have to be directly involved. They so don't have to see you. But then you're like, hey, surprise, I'm here. This is all my doing. I love my wife. Smoochie, smoochie, run away together, elope, and happily ever after maybe gets killed by a mind blare afterwards. Uh, you know? I mean, that was the plan the first time around, minus the resurrection and the find flare bits, but yo, yeah, I could certainly nothing would, absolutely nothing would go wrong, you just uh, walk into the estate of a high elf lord who, uh, yeah yeah, no, I'm sure that would just go swimmingly, if you did that. Did I mention he absolutely hated my guts? Yeah, I, I kind of inferred that from the context clues. Yeah. <sighs> I might have an idea, a second idea, and potentially a better idea. I will need to, however, confer with the workers in the Enchantry, because now that we have come into a vast sums of money, with my expertise, I might be able to craft some particular arcane implements to uh, aid us in that regard. What's the idea? I don't want to commit it to anything until I'm sober. I can understand that, but I'm still... More so to say, I kind of would like to figure out the, the full capabilities of that enchantry again so I can work off of that as a foundation. But like with the money I have and my knowledge, I could probably help build something in short order. Relatively short order. Um, I figure all of us after that deserve some kind of... Uh, 
small break as the world continues to burn, but you know. Yeah, just a just a small one. Well yeah. whatever you do, I definitely want to be involved for obvious reasons. I've never pulled a heist on a corpse before. Do you think we can maybe do that? We could maybe dip in unseen, grab her body, and run. I got the bag of holding. It's not the first time a body has been in the bag of holding. <laughs> I mean... It certainly won't be the last. That's assuming that um, that's where her corpse is. I mean, don't you or Momo have a way to locate specific things magically or something like that? I believe Momo can locate objects, and if I, unless I'm mistaken, a corpse does in fact count as an object. Yeah, I mean, there's no soul. <laughs> Not to Ow. objectify your deceased loved one, but like... No, no, the, the soul's gone, so body's mm. just a body. I yeah, it's just a, a lump of useless organic matter. Okay, you don't have to rub it in that far. Okay, it's fair. Oddly enough, that's what my ex used to call me. <laughs> wonder why. Damn, yeah, yeah. she called even the deceased part? Oh, no, and it, it, yeah, no, 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 she called me a lot of things. Soon to be deceased, perhaps. Yeah, she threatened, she threatened a lot, she really did. Never came about, it was an extremely toxic relationship at the end. Yeah, I definitely gathered that, like, damn. No, it's why I kind of destroyed her life's work, it's just because it was so angry and, you know, it just happened. What even, what even happened? What was the instigating event? Oh, you know how it goes, you know. You no, just, tell me. It's just, there was a honeymoon period for a while, and then the luster started to tarnish, and then from there, things just kind of got out of hand. The arguments became more frequent. As, we, as I argued, there was a, an opinion of technique, in terms of our workplace professionalism, I, of course, may, uh, maintain the belief that uh, my designs were far superior to her own and that she was lingering way too hard on this artificial intelligence thing that she's been working on for a very long time. You know, just... Uh, she, it was a lot. It was, there was it, not a lot. Most of it was unfounded and just meanness for the sake of meanness. And then at the end, I may have accidentally or somewhat intentionally destroyed her life's work, although it definitely had more of a domino effect than I was planning on. So that really fucked up. Uh, that, uh, I, uh, yeah, this is a lot. You know, if you were to see a picture of me before I got kicked out of the guild, you would not recognize me. Does that imply the existence of such a picture? I do believe there is a port. There was, in fact, a portrait commissioned of Paulette and I, but she uh, may have burned it. She may have. I'm sure that's fucking gone. <laughs> probably, probably. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's like a secret guilty possession of hers you know nah, it's probably affixed to a dartboard somewhere <laughs> it's either affixed to a dartboard or affixed to the ceiling over her bed it's there's no in between yeah that's what the dartboard is obviously. oh it's pretty dangerous throwing darts straight up over your bed paul it's a very capable woman y you i girl, don't know what yeah, you, you, you are literally the only person i i yes i know and I know in ways that you will never know. I would rather not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh, I have do let you, myself go. Regret, regret what? Breaking the up whole, with her? The whole thing, yeah. I regret being alone. Uh, but I don't regret... I regret a lot of things, Corelli. Oh, more alcohol. Hold on, I need to just... There you go. Ah, there's a lot of things I regret. There's a mixed bag. Some things I just don't care about, you know? Uh, I don't know if I regret it or if I don't. Honestly, it uh, sits in a place to me that I'm not quite sure. 
I don't really feel anything about it. And I'm not sure if that's because I've, you know, just shutted myself off emotionally so efficiently that I'm just, I don't know the, the depth of my own feelings or if it's because I just don't feel anything. Who knows? So that- uh, yeah. Uh, I definitely don't regret uh, not being involved with her because uh, she's kind of a high horse bitch. Um, more so with age. I mean, yeah, she's probably one of the smartest minds of her generation, but like, hey, that doesn't, you shouldn't use that to the detriment of your relationships with other people. You know, wild thought. Yeah. I thought that looting Dragatha's lair, going there, fucking shit up. I thought that was going to fill a hole deep in, you know, somewhere in the crevice of where Paulette would say my heart may or may not have ever existed. Uh, but in fact, after rating it, sure, I made a lot of money, which is pretty fucking tight. But, uh, I don't know. I don't feel any more complete after doing that. Yeah. I, I get that. So I'm kind of worried that that might be what happens when I finally I don't know like uh, what's gonna happen what's what's assuming that everything gets pulled off and I manage to make good on my promise well I mean hey I don't know thanks for bringing me back from the dead I love you probably hope so <laughs> I mean worst Cause... case scenario she's like hey thanks for making me not dead anymore but hey I want to break up I mean that sounds like the worst case I doubt she's not going to be thankful for bringing her back from the dead so you know at least there's that but like I don't know I don't fucking know the history there Yeah, I, I, I would, I would think all, all odds would point to the whole, you know, the first, the best scenario, but I just can't help but think about yeah. it and wonder what. Yeah. Happen. I'm not gonna lie. I'm particularly troubled by the fact that Dragatha's remains are missing. Just want to throw that out there again. Um got the treasure which is you know pretty tight but the fact that the remains are missing i don't like that's that and um when i go to sleep tonight who knows if i'll continue to hear dragatha's voice in my head is it actually dragatha's voice or is it more of like a trauma hallucination honestly i haven't known the difference i i I honestly can't tell like uh, like i'll like dragatha will be there in my dreams and like talk to me and like kind of like insult me like i'm just a piece of shit you know um so i'm not sure if that's just some deeply repressed trauma that's going on in the form of an ancient deceased dragon but the dragons probably they talk to they talk to everyone so yeah, probably. I, uh, but like, I don't, we didn't do anything in there that, you know, signals to me that that would have stopped whatever was causing that because those cultists called it like the Mark of Dragatha and, you know, that dwarf asshole had one too. So, like, clearly, clearly there's something going on here. Yeah, who knows? We might get lucky and we might get a second resurrected dragon on Erion. And by lucky, I mean that would probably be the worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, not to mention the whole... There's a necromancer associated with the Mind Flare who was part of the whole resurrection. Well, we got a budding necromancer of our own, so they'll never see it coming. Yeah, I don't know if um like I'm going if... to Yeah, I'm going to be real with you here. Again, I don't know the extent of Momo's religion. But this has to be sacrilege, right? Like just between you and me, 
Like, there's no way that her God or their, his God is like, hey, I'm cool with this. I right? guess that'd be a question for Sirenita, who you've seen and spoke with. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe Sirenita's just really cool with a lot of different things. So, or maybe uh, Momo is literally the last Duracocker on Erion. And maybe Serenita's just like, mm, you know what? It ain't the complete package, but it's the only thing I got. I don't know. Momo's been you know. experimenting with necromancy for a while, so I... Nice. Whatever. Not comfortable with it, but I'm not gonna... What are you gonna do? Yeah, I don't know. There seems to be... Listen, there's... Listen, e even in goblin communities, they tell you things about kids who kill animals and mess around with dead things, okay? They don't always end up the the shiniest peach in the basket, if you know what I'm saying. Momo's pretty alright, though. And I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna take a drink to go and try not to drown in the baths while I scrub ash and blood off of myself as best I can. Yeah, seems like a valid idea. I'd probably do the same if I didn't feel like, you know, not getting up. But I also need to get to the Enchantry and uh, maybe consider building a few things. I mean, hey, with all this money we got, I could probably build a fair few of magic, a fair few magical items. Yeah, but uh, yeah, whatever you mentioned, the plan thing, I just, I want in the loop whatever you yeah we'll uh we'll i'll i'll take a look at the enchantry and maybe conceptualize some things and then we can talk about the great corpse heist later Fuck. you're all right scan later yeah yeah all right are you heading down to the enchantry tonight or in the morning um i mean if there's gonna be someone there tonight i'll go there uh, it's, it Bottle is getting pretty out. late. Yeah, I'll go in the morning. All right. In that case, after after everyone does their thing, night comes and it is time for bed. Quintessa. I pass out on my desk. <laughs> Quintessa, you have a dream. Finally! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you find yourself staring down a fleeing uh, from this distance it looks to be an Okidi uh, several several hundred yards away but uh, definitely not out of range of your longbow Quintessa as it's running from you you need therapy <laughs> okay and in the dream Quintessa you pull back your bow and you fire you hit dead on and the Okiti collapses to the ground. You go over to investigate, and you realize that wasn't an Okiti at all. Looks to be... You roll it over, and what was a rat-like form immediately switches to the form of Kellum with your arrow straight through his skull. <laughs> Kellum's body lurches up, coughs blood onto your face and then collapses into your arms, Quintessa. Oh, Christ. I just told him. And that's what you wake up to hearing the sound of construction. I fucking knew it. That's dark. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, she'll just distract herself with writing. Alright. Not coming down for breakfast at all, or? Nope. Okay. That. I don't want to eat I don't want food after that. I'm also, Scam's also going to skip breakfast just to get to the Enchantry pretty early. Alright. You uh, head downstairs toward the Enchantry, and then you hear from the opposite side of the Enchantry. For the rest of us. And then you hear from the opposite side of the Enchantry. Oh, hi, Scam! And you look... And uh, Torkalen is in one of the jail cells waving at you. <laughs> what, what the fuck did you do? Okay, so um, several days back, there was like this door, right? Had a big old snarling wolf thing on it. Uh, I got bit. Think I might be a werewolf. 
Because I passed out one night and then I woke up and I was in here. Is there a guard nearby? Uh, there's, there's just the one who is, like, very lazily leaning back on a chair near the jail cell. Hey, I can't. Hey, I kick his foot. Hey! Uh, what? 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 I gesture at Thorkalen. What's his deal? Uh, looks over. Ah, uh, yeah, he, uh, he turned into a wolf. Uh, I think he was gonna rampage through the whole thing, but then he tripped over the stairs and fell down. So, uh, we just put him in there to make sure no dumb shit happened. Behind the, the next full moon? <laughs> the next full moon's in 15 days. <laughs> Can we let him out for now and just put him in behind bars every time there's going to be a full moon? Uh, talk to Bird about it. I don't know. I'm just told to watch him. Bird! Hey, what? Get your ass over here! I'm eating breakfast, motherfucker! Then I will run out of the table like find the fucking breakfast hall. Hey, Bert! Yeah? Torkalen, he's in the jail cell. Uh, yeah, he was a really shitty werewolf. Yeah, I heard. It's pretty fucking embarrassing. Okay, look, next full moon's off another 15 days. Can we just, like, let him out for now and then put him in the cage again when the moon's about to be full? I mean, we can probably fix him, but, like, I need his help. Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh, I'm so good at those. Uh. 13, I'll make that a 17. Mm. Bert shrugs, calls down to the basement. Hey, Gordon! What? What? Let the... Let the Enchanta out of his cage. He's, uh, he's probably fine. I mean, if he's not, we know he sucks. <laughs> and, uh, eventually you hear, All right! Oh, Jesus, I gotta remove myself. <laughs> Just go back to Torkalen. You're uh, welcome. But... <laughs> ah, well, uh, thank you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> what's kind of cramped in there? Yeah. But understand that I listen. We can probably fix you. I can't fix you. I believe Momo can fix you. But like, no, no. I want to milk this cow for all it's worth. We're going. To, we got some things to work on. You and me up in the enchantry. And additionally, you're a lycanthrope now, which means bright side. We now have an extremely easily accessible uh, way to get lycanthrope blood. Um, I can't really say I'm a fan of that particular notion. I don't like getting the blood, John. Uh, you don't have a choice. Let's go. You're the dumbass. <laughs> Just go to the Enchantry. You, uh, you drag Torkalen back into the Enchantry. Remind me what the Enchantry is capable of creating. I will. I will pull up that sheet, actually, Please right do. now. Yes, I was looking for that, and I could not find it. Oh, boy. Yay! This is valuable. Um, okay, so these are all the things it's capable of making. Um, yes. Uh, the more you use the enchantry, the more items it is capable of making. Cool. And because I'm an artificer, I, we saw this before, but I'll just refresh everyone's mind. Um, for any, for uh, any common or uncommon items... It takes a quarter of the time and half the amount of gold to make. Um, so I need to double check on this list what is common and uncommon. Are these all uncommon or are some of these rare? I think the folding boat is rare, but everything else is uncommon or common. Uh, okay. And I can't just create any magical item. I, it has to be from this list. It has to be from this list. Torkalen does not have okay. the knowledge to do anything that's not on yeah. this list. All right, then I'm just I'm gonna then I'm thinking about what I want to do, so I'm not gonna commit to anything just yet. Yeah. While you're doing that, fun fact behind the GM screen: uh, when Torkalen turned into a werewolf, I rolled a one d twenty to see how much damage he did. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Amazing. So Beautiful. I just decided he went upstairs, tripped, and fell right back down. <laughs> Incredible. I love that. What is a shard of healing? Uh, a shard of healing is a ceramic shard embedded with healing energy. You use a bonus action to smash it, 
and it will heal 1d8 plus 4 hit points. Um, anything within 5 feet. What's a rustic charm? A rustic charm, uh, if you are attuned to it, everything you eat tastes delicious, even if it's like rations or what you scrounge up on the road. That's valid. That's Sentinel, Sentinel shield? Sentinel shield! Sentinel shield gives you advantage on initiative, I believe. Hello. It's a shield, not a buckler. <laughs> yeah. However, uh, I can wield a shield. One. one last one. Uh, boots of false tracks. <laughs> boots of false That's tracks. <laughs> you see. I, I know that sounds relatively obvious, but I want to know if there's another name behind something else behind it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hear me out. I, I think I think yeah. your deep voice got right now. Puberty. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> got it. Deep oh voice got. that's why. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's only getting deeper with every second. <laughs> uh, before. Oh, Scott is Scott is out of the Discord. I'll wait till he gets back. Yeah. What's the folding boat? It's a. It's literally it, self-explanatory. It is a boat in a box that you can unfold. Mm-hmm. That's For a moment, sick. For a moment there, I thought you were judging the the fact that I was asking about the boots of false tracks. <laughs> no, uh, we we were, but also <laughs> but also puberty happened. Anyway, the boots of false tracks. Hey, can... all those testosterone shots I've been giving Malphite in his sleep aren't working. Oh, fuck yourself. The boots of false tracks. While wearing them, you can choose to have them leave tracks like those of another kind of humanoid your size. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty sick. That could noted. Be yeah, seriously, noted. Okay. So yeah, keep in mind that I can craft all of these and with for a lot cheaper and for half for a quarter of the time. Um, but yeah, at one point, whenever convenient, I'm I'm gonna go back to Corellian and talk to them for a sec. But yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, while uh, while you're debating over this, back at breakfast, anyone who's eating breakfast with Bert, uh, let me actually roll to see what breakfast is. Not one S ten. There we go. <coughs> Bacon. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. All right. Uh, Bert, uh, finishes up some water, uh, looks up. Uh, a couple, a couple of letters went in for you, uh, while you were out. Thanks to the Mail Workers Guild office being in here, it's a lot, a lot easier to get them. Uh, a lot of bills and a lot of advertisements. Two I thought, uh, you'd be particularly interested in. Uh, he slides one to Corellian and one to Malifane. Oh, thank you. Do you want to? Do you want to get your first atlas? Or sure. Um. Yeah. Carlin will open the letter and take a look. All right. Uh, the letter reads, "Hey, kid. I know you probably don't want anything to do with me right now, but if this wasn't important, I wouldn't bother writing. We're trying to prep for war, but there are still a couple of leftovers from Zakti's cult, who are really, really interested." in us having a dragon. I heard rumors of there still being a couple of viable dragon eggs up in the northeast of Irion. And I'm kind of scared of what they'd do if we didn't have one of the eggs that I could put under control. You don't have to see me or anything, but I can't spare any agents, and I know you're more than capable of getting up there, getting the eggs, and delivering them back. Uh, and then... It continues, as I remember what else is on the letter. <laughs> yeah. If you do ever need to get into a deal, don't worry. Show them the sigil at the back of this letter. You look over, there is indeed a sigil. They'll know it's from me, and they'll know better than to give you any shit. And it's signed Snalgu. <laughs> well, we might have a job. We'll talk about it later. Any news from you, Malapane? Uh, let's take a look. He opens the letter. Uh, your letter is a little 
a handout like one you'd find in a museum of various exhibits detailing a flower called the Mortis Memoria. I'll type that in the chat. Oh, I don't like that name. Ooh, shit! Uh, it is said that uh, when Mortis Memoria is properly made into an herbal mixture, it will <laughs> allow you to go into another creature's mind and basically try to wake them up from any kind of mental uh, attack, let's say, on them that's causing them to be catatonic. And then there is a handwritten note at the bottom, you're welcome, with little diamond as the signature. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, it no also details... I, it also details that Mortis Memoria can be found growing within the swamplands in the south of Irion, but also that improperly mixing Mortis Memoria will usually lead to a deadly poison. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I first thought this was going to have some relation to, like, Memento Mori or something like that. But in actuality, it like, it, it, there's a 50-50 chance it might. I thought it was like a funeral I mean, again, Memento Mori. Yeah. Huh. Uh, well... Maybe this is something we all can talk about together. What is it? Something to keep in mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was that you mentioned about the job? Right. Uh, okay. So because... Because none of us have had enough of dragons in our collective lifetimes. There are apparently still some viable dragon eggs in the northeast of the area. Yes, and eggs that some of our good friend Zokdi's cronies would be eager to get their claws on. The job would be to go get them first to prevent that. Who's asking? Wait, you said Don't. dragon eggs. Oh, don't. Yes, I said dragon egg. Only person capable of leading the kobold is the one asking. <sighs> of well, I don't want any other dragons on the field, so. Are you sure you're okay with this? Maybe don't have to see her, don't have to talk to her. We have safe passage into the city. Crowley and Lake shows the sigil. If we need to, we just go and get it done and maybe run Zakti out of hiding while we're at it, because fuck that guy. Well, um... Do they need the eggs? Didn't specify. You think but if others are worth... actively looking for them, then who knows? Do you possible? think it's worth crying a little bit? I mean, I don't want any crazy fucking Zoxy fanatics with dragon eggs, so... I suppose not. I suppose the less we have to deal with. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? I, I, I changed my mind. Uh, maybe a bit of better news to lighten the mood. Um, do you see this? And he kind of pulls out the, the flower. It's not a flower. It's directions to where the flowers grow. I mean, the... I mean the the paper of the, the flower. What I meant. It is precisely at this moment when Scam kicks down the door to enter the room. <laughs> Bam! Enter an angry Scam likely. Right. So as I was saying, do you see? This? <laughs> um, he takes the flyer, reads it. You know what that means, right? She still has a chance. We could bring my mother back. That's amazing. I can't. 
I can't believe something like that exists. Neither do I. I had never read anything about this before in my books. <laughs> Although, Maybe the chances of it actually book. succeeding are a little risky. Oh I boy, if I... only you had a genius-level inventor on your side to help you with this. I know. I feel like well, I suppose you'll have to do. Yeah, yeah, I probably will. I mean, we do have an herbalism lab now, too, and all sorts mm. of resources at our disposal, so... Not to divert the topic, but Corellian, mm. regarding your wife, by the way, since I did a lot of reading and up in the Enchantry with Torkalen, who is just the dumbest. Um, so there's not a, uh, there's a couple things I can build near that might be able to help, but I wanted to say that, point of clarification, if you want your wife back, you're going to need me and you're going to need Momo. Because Momo is the only person who can cast from that scroll. Me? Yes. You're the only one of us capable of casting a resurrection spell. And henceforth, the scroll, by extension, you're the only person who can cast from it. None of us possess the uh, the ability to do such a thing. Momo looks to Corellian and says, I'll happily do it. Thank you. Of Out of character, real quick, Jojo, what's your spellcasting ability? It's wisdom, uh, right? I believe... Yes, and it's what's a your, what's your? Yes. Yeah, what's yeah. your wisdom modifier? My wisdom modifier is... Uh, four. Oh, four. Oh, yeah, that... Plus yeah, four. We, we, yeah, oh, plus those four. have been restored? Those yeah. have been restored, yeah, yes. Yeah, those are restored. Yeah. Okay. So okay. just out of character, in order... Yeah, for your Momo. wisdom should be back to normal, Momo. Yeah. I don't know of... why it wasn't. Yeah, it's Oops, a plus four. A plus, plus four normally. Mm -hmm. um, so that means, in order to successfully resurrect Corellian's wife, Mo Jojo, you will need to roll a nine or higher on a d20 when we make the check to cast the spell. <laughs> oh, because no, nine because Nine or higher because I'm giving you. I would give you Flash of Genius, and you'd be at it. Yeah, because you need a seventeen to cast the spell. So, okay, all right. Things to keep in mind. And Alex, question: Would that count? At, that would count as an ability check, right? That would count as an ability check because it's using an ability. Yes. Yeah. So here, even to add more to the pot, I'll give you a fucking wisdom enhanced ability, so you get advantage on your wisdom check. You can roll twice. Cool. Okay, just want to get that mechanically out of the way, but just letting you know that, yeah, we're going to need Momo, you're going to need me. And uh, there are things I might be able to invent that can help us, but it entirely depends on you, how you want to approach it. We can try to be deceptive to get in there. I am literally able to change my appearance. Not just, yeah, not like, not, I'm, I'm, and not like a disguised self. I'm not talking about illusions. I can physically turn myself into like a halfling or a gnome or a goblin i'm already a goblin or a uh or a kobold i could literally make myself look like you by the way and it's not an illusion it'll i can literally change the shape of my bones it's an extremely painful process but i can do it that really doesn't engender much confidence when you say it like that yeah well, i mean it's it's pretty effective i haven't used it in front of you guys but i can Oh, Make please. myself I'd look. Love to see that. Can, can you cast it on other things? No, I can only cast it myself. But for point of reference, oh, this is gonna hurt. I like walk over to Corelli and I like. Oh, Corelli doesn't have hair, do they? Nope. No. Shit. Not at the moment. <laughs> Corelli, this is gonna sound really gross, but I'm gonna need you to spit in my hand. Just please don't question it. Really? Right in front of my bacon? <laughs> Says Bert. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's... I, you're gonna have to. Bert picks up the plate of bacon and leaves. <laughs> sorry, but... <laughs> to what? No, you're not gonna... You're not turning into me right here, right now. No, that's, that's fucking weird. Mama, like, Fine, is there a... Is there a like, raises his hand you're not him. small. You're, you're a medium creature. Fine, I won't... Uh, fine, I'll just do a random... Uh, whose hair do I have on me? Like, rifle through my pockets, find, like, a couple of sprigs of hair from a halfling that I yanked out of his head when he was sleeping. Yeah, this'll do. 
quickly make something together and then just inject something straight into my neck and I will cast Alter Self to literally change myself into a male halfling. <laughs> it's it's gross. Yeah. Wow, like mouth. that was disgusting. Not we could see the mo bones move, like under the, the skin. Bones yeah. The bones moved. The bones moved. Do I regret everything? You don't oh. know true weirdness until you felt the cartilage in your ears change shape. Oh God. So change of subject. Um. Uh. Yeah. So uh, have any of you seen Quintessa at all? I haven't heard from her at all since yesterday. No. Last Not episode, this morning. She locked herself in the library. Yeah, I'm aware of that much. She didn't come down this way, so. I don't know. Oh, I don't know, Momo, why don't you scry on her or something? See what she's up to. I feel like that's a kind of a... Yeah, okay, um, the only reason I would use scry is to check on someone. Ah, uh, you're boring. I know when to not invade someone's personal space, even as much as I dislike her. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go check on her. I I'll be right back. Yeah, you probably do. All right. Too. I'll just uh, watching that kind of uh, kill my <laughs> appetite. Carly's just gonna like take the rest of their <laughs> bacon and then like give it to Mosca, who is curled up under the table, taking up a lot of space, and her head is just like in Corellian's lap, just like looking up as they make the bacon. Lovely. So <laughs> yes. She gets yeah. the rest of it. Momo looks at Curly and says, and like holds up one of his pieces, like, can I? Can I? Yeah, just uh, just call her over to you. Uh, Mosca? Mosca looks over your way. I hold up the bacon, like, do you want it? You hear the thump, thump, thump of Mosca's tail slamming against the <laughs> table and the chairs and anything nearby. I hand it to her. <laughs> it's like, oh, what a perfect being. Honestly, yeah. Well, um, I am gonna go, uh, walk, and I will see you guys later. Cheers. Yeah, later. I'll go over and oversee some stuff, just checking on people, you know. Alright. So, uh, rather than pull up the construction list, because we're almost at time, I'm just going to go up to Malifane, checking in on Quintessa again. Uh, I forgot to bring this up, but for just for flavor text's sake, I also have a plate of breakfast as well. Okay. Um, How nice. This Honey, are you there? I uh, I brought some food. You you didn't come down, so it, it, it's bacon. I I I know. I I yeah. I... Can you please open up? I I know you haven't really been in the mood to talk since yesterday, but I'm worried about you. Um, please. There's a pause. You hear like a. And the door opens. She's just looking at you with dead eyes. Hey. Ooh. Yes. What's going on? Are, are we okay? No. Just another reminder of why Eskel's not coming back. Hey, no, we we don't necessarily know that. Well, I not mean... coming back to me at least. Do you, do you want to talk about this? He kind of like just holds up the of food. I'm not hungry. You know, let me sit down a bit. It might help to just talk things out. I mean, I've been sleeping at my desk all night, I suppose. Anything in particular? Do you have any dreams? You know, yes. you were talking about those. I like talking about the dreams, not the nightmares. Oh, oh honey, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't 
I didn't think any of this was was going to impact you that badly. Oh no, it's fine. It's the guy I've run away from for seven years is now back on my case. It's... Of course, that's not going to affect me. We've seen some of the signs already. It's it's like I mean, <laughs> he's still you know trying to show us something, right? I'm not talking about Esco. Railroad. Yeah, Railroad? Yes. Now I'm getting mixed messages of he's after you, he's not after you. I don't know what's going on. I never saw him. You were there. Wait, break in character. What? Yes, you were there, Scott! <laughs> what was this? Uh, Shadow the Kai, te- Shadow Kai woman in the fractured temple was like, ah, I don't know. I don't think he's after you. That doesn't sound right to me. Mm-hmm. I am a dumb. <laughs> Attention spam of a goldfish. <laughs> Thank you, Xander. <laughs> Anytime. Point being is that whole escapade to Dugatha's lair was not something. That Mm-hmm. Although, mm-hmm. not the first time I've had blood on my hands. No, well, for what it's worth, you have some time off. We're, we're back at that, and so maybe, maybe it's best that we just take the time to ourselves. We, we have the space to relax, right? I want the space far, far away from your group. Right. I don't okay. want to hate them, but have a problem when we have the means of resurrection clearly right in the moment and we don't do anything to save someone. Momo could have saved Kellen and chose not to. I think it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. And when yet he saved in... Jenna. Yeah. There's a lot on our minds right now. It's it's overwhelming. I I, know. I I would agree that for the moment maybe it's best that we just take some time away. But I do think that after a short while, maybe we should just. There's something I want to tell you. Of course. What is it? I want to, but... (sighs) You know, I'd much rather prefer to tell Eskal. You know why? Because I know he would be so angry at me. And he would call me every bad name under the sun. And then he'd have even more reason to not want to come back. Because the thing is, if I tell you... You might be sore, but I know it's just a pat on the head and, oh, don't worry, honey, I'll be there, I'll support you. Is it sad that I want someone to be angry at me for this? Malifane just stays silent. I'm sorry. I'll find him, though. I know we will, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be ready. Right Two reasons. One is if we find him, and I'll tell the two of you together. Or two, by some random convenience of Eldrin finding me, he reveals it instead. Either way, if you want to call off the engagement after that, I won't blame you. But at the same time, maybe you should read Apple Shot again. 
because the clues are all there. Malafine. He kind of just stands in the frame of the door. Well, I guess I'm a bit hungry after that. He just starts eating. <laughs> all right. And now that Quintessa has finally eaten breakfast, that's where we're going to end our session. Whoa. Okay. You can't just fucking drop that and not say anything about it. We just did, <laughs> motherfucker! We <laughs> just <laughs> made it. Straight people are weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, tune in next week where there's more fun adventures in Batten Rants. It's probably going to be sad character stuff because this is Fallen Empires and that just happens. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.